Hail and well met. I am Mr. Eager DM at your service, and we welcome you one and all to Trapped at Home, a live stream Dungeons and Dragons broadcast presented by Lawful Stupid RPG. Tonight we bring you session 12 of our playthrough of Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Joining us as always, we have Typhon the Wizard, Rim the Ranger, Persephone the Bard, Falkron the Cleric, Jax the Rogue, and Silas the Paladin Fighter. Once again, let me say, and I don't think it can be overstated how much we appreciate our supporters. In one respect, this is a game that we play for our own enjoyment. But knowing there is an audience, regardless of the size, makes this a stage, and it means all the world to us. Thank you for being here. Yeah. Announcements say? from the DM's chair. Uh, first, those who are interested can, at their leisure, find our past episodes on Lawful Stupid's YouTube channel. Why doesn't Silas use his paladin powers? Why does the group ha what does the group have against sewers? What does Falkron really think of the masonry in Baldur's Gate? <laughs> the answers to these questions and more can be found in past episodes. Click, like, subscribe, and enjoy. There's masonry? <laughs> <laughs> Second... This past week, for the first time, some party members recorded a mini session outside of our Twitch broadcast. This was done to give some important character moments a little breathing room, since the majority of today's game will be focused on action, and we didn't want the RP to feel incidental. Uh, the results of that session will be explained at the start of today's session, and they will eventually be edited into the video when it drops on YouTube. Cool. And I do believe that is all, unless there are anything else. Very well. My friends, it is time. I extend my hand, inviting you to step with me into fantasy. Release your hold on that which you know to be true, and let imagination rule for the next few hours. Last time. The adventurers took the first steps on the final path toward their inevitable confrontation with Thalamra Van Tampur, Duke of Baldur's Gate, and apparent instigator of the trouble the city has had with dead three cultists. After a skirmish in the Low Lantern Tavern, the adventurers managed to capture Thalamra's favorite son, Amric, hoping to use him as leverage in the coming conflict. Seeking a safe place to question him, the adventurers returned to the Shrine of Suffering, only to discover that it had been attacked and one of its keepers, Sissa Elmsweet, kidnapped. Interrogation of Amric revealed that the eldest Van Thampur brother, Thirstwell, had been obsessing over the adventurers for months, beginning with the Red Web incident. He has had spies, imps disguised as ravens and other vermin, watching them and reporting their every move. Amric cautioned, that it was likely Thirstwell would be taking measures to protect himself and that Sissa's capture was likely a part of that plan. Desperate to take the fight to the Van Tampur villa but needing rest, the adventurers made their way to the Elfsong Tavern, the location where their story first began in earnest to rest and prepare. There was one final surprise, however, as Typhon was contacted by none other than famed mercenary Jaraxel Benray of the Bregan Derth who informed him that a close mutual friend was also missing from Baldur's Gate. Morning has come. Some of your party left at first light and have just now returned. And as they do, the ghostly sound of the eponymous elf song floats through the air. Hmm. I do believe that the last time the song was played, we had Rim read the text. If Silas would be so kind, once I am able to get it up. <clears throat> and that's not a joke, by the way. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> okay. That's the elf song handout. It is the Elf Song handout. I'm trying to find it again. I've got it. You got it. Great. Yeah. If you would be so kind. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh, sing a song of Elturel, of water, woods, and hill. 
the sun dawns on her ruddy cliffs and fields green and still. This land of long abiding joy, home of the strong and brave, renowned by all across the realms and never once a slave. Oh, sing a song of El Terrell when foes are at her door, her fields torn by cloven feet from some infernal shore. Arise, the mighty hell riders, take up your swift keen swords, then charge into the hellish fray and scatter devil hordes. Oh, sing a song of El Terrell, and when the night does fall, sleep safe beneath companion's light until the dawn does call. We are bound by mortal covenant that only ends with death, and so we'll sing of El Terrell until our final breath. As the song rings out in the tavern, Rhea Mantlemorn has a faraway look on her eyes, and she looks stricken as she hears the words. Thank you, Silas. Adventurers, what do you do? I step up behind uh, Rhea and I'll put a claw on her shoulder to offer support. Do we all understand it as it is being sung? Can we? It obviously... is in Elvish. So unless you speak Elvish, you cannot understand the words. Um, however, you do have members of your party right. who speak Elvish, and it appears that Rhea does as well. She looked confused at first as the song because she has never been to this tavern wondering where it's coming from. But now she seems transported, distant. I tell her, apparently this song is a new addition that that didn't used to grace this tavern. They were surprised the last time we were here and this song played. I've never heard it before, but I understand it. And in a happier time, it would be something that would fill me with great pride. But I, this may be the very end of the Hellwriters. I could be the last. You don't know that. I hope I'm not. So do I. And as you look at her, now that you've spent some time talking with her, it becomes apparent that although she is quite skilled and quite strong, she's just a kid. Maybe 19. And she looks at you and smiles and says, Thank you. If anyone ever wants to know more about the Hellriders, I'd be happy to tell you. But maybe now's not the time. It'll be it. I look forward to hearing about them. I know that so long as you continue to fight, they live on. Do they like goblins? <sighs> Well, Jax, that's a tough question. Not a lot of people like goblins, even one so charming as yourself. Well, I don't looks like very goblins It <laughs> looks very grateful to have the subject changed. Um, <laughs> it is uh, it is readily apparent to the rest of you that Rim has a new addition. Uh, a massive bow. So big, it looks like it should be prop being held by a statue or something. It doesn't look like it should be wieldable. Um, Rim is quite tall. It stands when he holds it in one hand it, to pull back the bow, to pull back the string. I'm not saying he's doing it now, but when he does, the clearance is only about six inches from the ground. Um, I have a picture here. I think I can show you all. Rim? Have you been fighting giants or... Breaking statues in the city? What? What yet? Ooh. It's firing like a spear. Mm, I've got right. to ask um, him. 
Have you been messing with my character sheet? I have. <laughs> um, <laughs> I went through and I changed a few things to... I have custom magic items that I never really got around to solidifying. So I did that and I put them in. Hopefully they're working. No, no, they're no, I, I was looking at it thinking, I swear I wrote the wording down for it and I had to <laughs> check. And yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm, I apologize if I deleted anything important, but uh, I was hope I, my goal was to simplify and clean up, but no, that's maybe I good failed. Good. Good. Um, mm. Don't bother reading the description of this picture. This is just the picture. The, the weapon itself has changed since mm. this iteration. Cool. So, Rim, everyone's marveling your bow. I'm just, he's just beaming with, uh, with pride. He isn't really coming up with words at the moment, but you can you can see from his face that there is a, a deep level of satisfaction and peace uh, now that he has it in his hands. I look to Persephone and so you got it then? Wasn't me that did it, but I was there. Uh, I don't think I could have done it without you. Thank you. Happily. And Very we don't well. have to drag around that crystal pig anymore. <laughs> it was a crystal owl <laughs> the size of a pig. <laughs> what time is it right now, Sean? Um, so you all left at dawn. It did not take you long to get where you were going. It was fairly close. You've come back. It's about 7.30, 8 o'clock. The tavern is pretty quiet. Doesn't seem like there's a breakfast service at the Elf Song. Are there okay. things that people need to do before we uh, before we launch our uh, surprise? Did I manage to find my studied lever? Um, we talked a little bit about that last time. Um, you have credit with the Raven Guard Estate, mm -hmm. so essentially, as long as you convince the vendor that your credit is good you have unlimited funds for whatever you can find. Okay. For things like studded leather that fits a halfling or a goblin, it's not something that's generally kept in stock. So it's possible that there's a place in the city that sells it, but it's not going to be just on the corner. It will take some asking and some searching and some time. And I was hoping to go get a bunch of ink on Raven Guard credit, essentially. That is certainly possible. Um, you are definitely aware of a place called the Nib and Quill. It's in the upper city in the Temple District. Scrolls and writing supplies, you've been there several times. Again, it is possible that there are other places that you could acquire what it is you're looking for. Harder in the lower city, but not impossible, but it would require some effort and time. Okay. I like the quick way the best. Very good. And then Sean, we had talked last time about um, the weapon that Silas had mm -hmm. being transferred to a weapon of, of quality for me, but I, I wouldn't even know where to begin to look for a weapon of quality that would be able to be transferred. Well, you do know that there is a, uh, a smithy in Bloomridge, which is in the lower city. Mm -hmm. um, not it's it's a fair ways from away from where you are. It's called Verkins, um, and it's a smithy and coin exchange. Um, and you know that they do fairly good work. Um, if you were going to commission something, um, that would take some time. But it's possible that they would have something good enough to uh, take the enchantment just ready. You could always just wield the weapon. But I don't believe uh, Falkrin is proficient with the longsword, which is mm. the weapon itself, yes? Well, have you tried? I have not. <laughs> nah. It's listed as a martial weapon, so... Did did I... I, I identified fair. the sword, right? Mm -hmm. So would I learn any attunement effects? Yes, uh, you of course. Attuning to this sword grants you proficiency in longsword. Nice. As long as you're wielding it. Saucy. 
Well, just do what the sword tells you to do. Basically, cheater. swings itself. Uh, Rim needs to pick up some javelins. Um, at some point. I wouldn't mind some studded leather armor if uh, Jax and I wanted to go and get, find that for both of us. All right, definitely possible. Um, She's going in person to get studded. <laughs> Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is commitment. Yeah. Can I, can I, I bribe with you? I missed leather armor. <laughs> I'm going on an adventure. You're going to find the charger instead. Uh-huh. All right, so we have a nib and quill. Spells. We have nib and quill for um, Typhon, unless you want to search for something closer. We have Verkins uh, for, um, let's see, Verk- I guess you don't need to go there for a for a, um, a hammer. Yeah, so no. just uh, just studded leather and javelins. All right, um, choose like one s- among you. I'd like to sell a shield. Like to sell a shield. All right. Again, uh, selling is easier. You can probably just find any vendor that looks like they carry odds and ends and get a reasonable price for it. 25%, 30 um, percent. Well, roll your investigation quiet. check. Be quiet. Investigation. Bum, 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 bum. I fail. Seven. Oh. <laughs> seven. All right. So it is easy to find a vendor, but he's only going to give you 20% for it. No, no worries. Mm-hmm. Um, so take your gold. Um, let's see. I would say that Persephone, being a resident of uh, the Steeps, you would know where you got your current armor, mm. so you could just go there. Okay. Uh, Jax, I know a place that we could check. Uh, if you'd like to come along with me to, in search of some studded leather armor. Oh, I'd love to go, yes. I've got some stuff to sell. Is it all your stuff to sell? Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm always wearing perfume. <laughs> All right, so it takes you about an hour to get from where you are to where the um, the leather worker is. Um, it's called the Water Davian Hide Shop. And uh, it is just opening as you arrive. And you are able to negotiate a price for stud leather for Persephone quite easily. Um, roll a percentile die, uh, Jax. Let me guess, he's a racist, is he? <laughs> 26. The DC was 30. Very good. Under 30, you find some studded leather armor that has been designed for a halfling. Wow. And with just a little bit of tweaking, you are able to make it fit a goblin. A little tight in the chest. <laughs> Perfect, just as I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I- and so that's another hour back to the Elf Song, if that's where you were planning to meet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Typhon, what have you been doing for these two hours? I was going to go procure the ink and yes and even do you want to go with the group or do you want to go with every or by yourself the Um, van dampur villa is in the upper city so it's kind of on the way no i want to spend most of the day using this ink so i see um yes so do you have instructions for the rest of the group as to where they should meet you Uh, is there a way, is there an easier way to figure out a, a particular gate or a, a, a location that would make sense in more of a triangular form? I'm, I'm asking this because I think... Right. Um, not really. The, uh, would the, nib and quill, the, the nib and quill is in the temper, is in the temple district. Um, and it's like the opposite side of Baldur's Gate from Manorborn. So like, okay. 
it's a triangle here. <laughs> where yeah. you are is it is the point of the tri- one point of the triangle where you need to go is another and Manaborn sure. is the other. If I were to go and then my place is near a, one of the gates, would it be mm-hmm. closer the than me if gate. I met them there? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Okay, I'll do that then. I'll have And them. one or two of the party has been to your place so they know. Yes. Okay. All right. So I'll just say that you are able to find your way to the nib and quill mm-hmm. and buy the ink that you require. Cool. Um, this will take you about an hour and a half to get where you are to there and then about 20 minutes to a half an hour to get back to your place. Okay. So that's so that's that two hours. So they went and did their thing for two hours and then you went and did your thing for two hours. Perfect. <laughs> like I planned it. And then while those two hours are happening, uh, Silas, would you allow me to uh, sit with the sword? By all means, um, perhaps you can put it to a good use. Its former owner, no one has stepped forward to claim it. I would wish to honor Pilgrim in what way I could. That's very honorable of you, Falkrin. It speaks well to you. And so, uh, Sean, I wish to mm-hmm. sit and um, I just pray over the sword and sort of see if, there's well. anything, see if there's anything it would ask of me, whether it be return it to its the torm or if it finds me a worthy. Well, the sword does not seem to be sentient. Now, I was told if I just hold it, it'll just cut well. <laughs> <laughs> um, what What type of fork tongue person would say such a thing uh you do learn (laughs) seems silly when i say it out loud (laughs) you do learn that the name of the sword at least the name that it had from its former owner is quietos spell that it's q u i e t u s Um, if I can get my slow computer to work, I will post a thing for it, but, well, there we go. Silas took care of it. Thank you, Silas. Very well. And was I able to sell my stuff? You were. How much did I get for it? Now, what all were you selling? I've got ornate vial with expensive perfumes. So that's 25 gold pieces. But the problem here is that in order to get the best price for these things, you're going to need to go where they are being sold, where they're being purchased. Um, Unless you can connect to some sort of black market down here. But since you are not a resident of Baldur's Gate, that is not the easiest thing for you to do, especially if you're with people, which I highly recommend you'd be. Since you are a guy, I'm about. I'm a local hero now, mm-hmm. like real local, like to one house. <laughs> yeah. I, I suspect if they knew what you were trying to fence, you, you might lose that status. Fencing would suggest I've sold that I've stole it. Well, haven't you? Yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, while he's with the group as well, he'll probably be looking at these uh, platinum. Um, bracelets. Very uh, nice. And only to see if Nice anyone, enough to use for spells. Yeah, if anyone notes, like the wizard, for example, realizes what they are. It would be of more use to the cleric, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We but, don't have a wizard here. No. True, yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, uh, you know, <laughs> if anyone actually sees him second. messing with them, do they, oh, that, you know, because if not, Jax would just sell them. Lee would give them to the cleric, but Jack. I'll tell you what. Why don't we say that you're able to sell the perfume quite easily, but um, nobody wants to touch the platinum bracelets. They seem a little too precious and a little too specific and too easy to find if somebody was looking for them. So that's Hmm. they're a little too hot. Perfume's gone, and that's two hundred and fifty gold, right? 
Sorry if I missed the, the, the jabs and necessary things. I was doing some wizard accounting. It gets complicated at level five. It does. <laughs> yes, yes. Study your books, wizard. Go away. <laughs> Very well. Are you all ready? Uh, I need to get some um, javelins. All right. Javelins are a fairly common item. Um, but again, you don't know the city. So um, make an investigation check. All righty. And then if I happen to walk past a... Uh, if I happen to walk past something that looks like it would have magical rings of some kind, I would like to... That's going to be a... Is that... That's going to be... Oh. 12. 12. Yes. You were able to find a place that sells normal javelins. Okay. They have four for sale. Just four? Just the four. Hmm. And would uh, trying to find yet another be uh, too time consuming? It's taken you about a half an hour to an hour to find this one. All right. I'll search for one more. Okay. Another investigation. That one is a nine. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem like they're that easy to find in this particular neighborhood. All right. Back to the tavern, then. All right. Now, everyone take care of their housekeeping. All right, then. I, I just need to know how much time we're waiting before going in. So you have not discussed that. They're coming. You, you, your your errands have taken. You, it sounds like everybody was able to take care of their errands in approximately two hours. So everyone's coming at that point. I believe are coming to your home. Oh, that's okay. what you said, right? Yeah, or whenever we were, like, you know, knock on my door on the way there was kind of what I meant. So if people have more to do at the tavern, or whatever, that's fine. Yeah. Does anybody want to do anything else? Good. Good. All right. The late spring morning has a heavy feel of summer on it. The night fog from the Chontar has dissolved into the air, and a thick, sweaty breeze laps against you as you step onto the street. Looking down towards the harbor, you see a bright red streak of morning sun suppressed under a dark blanket of clouds. A growl of thunder rolls across the city, bringing with it the scent of rain and blood. You make your way towards the upper city, past scurrying townsfolk preparing for the coming storm. Sharp words and furtive glances, crying children, and the moans of the indigent instill a sense of desperation and despair. You can almost feel the wicked acts being carried out around you as you pass. That man running from the alley, did he leave a body back there? That exchange of money between nervous looking commoners, was it for something sinister? Occasionally you hear the caw of a raven, but see none when you turn to look. You reach old Baldur's gate and are waved through by the watch, almost as if expected and there's a profound lack of eye contact from the soldiers. You make your way towards Typhon's apothecary. And you find him there. That seems perfectly legit. I don't have a great feeling. I never have a great feeling when I'm in the upper city. Oh, I don't know, I feel like I belong. <laughs> Last time I was here, it was not a celebratory occasion. We still have Amrik with us, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> Somewhat forgotten. Um, Rhea has been holding on to him tightly, glaring at him every so often. Um, he seems completely cowed. He hasn't called out to anybody. He hasn't look darkly at anybody's direction. He's just been sitting quietly waiting for whatever's going to happen to happen. You were you were, had to undo his binds in order to not arouse suspicion going through Baldur's Gate. So he is perfectly free to run except for the strong hand of Rhea on his arm. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Uh, 
I look at the party and I say, do we have any thought as our plan of attack? Well, per our friend's advice, the tower seems to be the easiest way to get down into the basement, which is where we need to be. But getting up to the tower in the first place seems to be the trickier part. We have Hawk take a quick look for us. He could, if he's not hunted down by those imp spies of the brother. Mm -hmm. First well. Are you ready to make your way towards the villa? <laughs> the more time we delay, the more we put people in peril. People that each of us care about. And I shoot a, a glance to Typhon. Let's go. All right, you make your way towards the Manorborn District. You know where the Van Tampor Villa is because Hawk followed Ravens there the other night. And you stand now, looking up at the 12-foot-high dark stone wall enclosing Van Tampor Villa. Its top glistens wetly, and a barely perceptible heat seems to radiate from it like a fever, though it could just be your imagination. There are three wooden gates, the main entrance, and a coach gate to the south, and the postern gate to the north. Which is the nearest gate to the tower. I ask our Van Tempor friend. <laughs> no. Yes. What is well, the that's, easiest... that's the tower right there. And the most direct path to it. Persephone's already you on the right through this door. You go through this door and you go into the house. Take the stairs up. It's really not that big. Very well. And you'll get us all the way into the house. I didn't get you past the guards. There's usually about nine of them patrolling around. If they stop us, I'll say something appropriate, get you to the front door, and then be on my way. All right. How do we know that you're not simply going to go alert other guards as soon as you're on your way? I can't think of a way that I could make you trust me not to do that. So Neither can I, honestly. No one. Something we should be aware of, friends. One, the fact that he's already walked us into the gate does not look too well upon him with the Van Tampor family. And seeing how they've treated their previous offspring... I give him 50 50 odds. There it Thanks. Is. I could just get him. Uh, New Jax, I want you focused on the imps. We're going to need all your skills today. All right. Shall we? We shall. Ask Mage Armor on myself. Mage Armor is up. I'll do the same. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wrong you, you, you have to role play yeah. that. You have to. No, we, have uh, to we have to understand no, how Jax does. Jax that, what cast. It looks like. uh, Jax yeah. cast sage armor. He just yeah. like smells sage up. armor, right? Just uh, yeah. the sweet smell of sage. <laughs> Before we go in, and a um, Jax, may I that bag of dust I gave you earlier? May I have it back for a moment? Oh, I sold it. In case we need it. Oh, I didn't really. <laughs> it's, probably my, it's probably my new bag of holding that I've got on my character sheet. And I'll put my hand <laughs> in my bag of holding and, and take it out, put it, give it back. Okay. All right, feel free to move yourself in, my friends. All right. Are you getting any feedback when I speak, by the way? No. Nope. Okay. Yeah. Well, you step in, and as Amric reported, there are three guards there, and they. Hey, you just can't come walking in here. Oh, <clears throat> begging your pardon, my lord. Um, everything all right? Yes, yes. These are 
friends of Thirstwell's. I know it's hard to believe, but yes, it, he's they're doing some work for him, and he wants to see them. Asked me to bring them for him. It's too fucking early for this, if you ask me. <laughs> Roger, our lord. Um, have a good one then. And they go back to doing whatever it was they were doing by the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I should really have think they're 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 throwing a knife at a tree. There's a knot on the tree there, and they're all taking turns all right. throwing knives at it. To is, is there a goblin the tied to the tree? Between there you. will be soon. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the villa rises before you, two stories of stately, quiet stone with a square tower in the southwest corner, which is here. In the northwest corner of the wall is what seems to be a stables. Both it and the villa have sloping red tiled roofs. Right inside. Let's. Amrick walks up to the door with you and gestures at it and says, well, You understand if I don't wish you luck. I think our best fortune coincides with yours. As I said before, we succeed. You're likely to prosper more than if we fail. That is what an optimistic person would think. I'm not an optimistic person. But you've already seen a miracle today. You just called Typhon optimistic. <laughs> best of luck, Amrick. Have fun dying. And he walks out the door. <laughs> that would be my first time. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, tell me what you all do. Who goes in first? How do you go in? What's the plan? Jack's getting the bag. Uh, again? Yeah, again. Uh, what if it's trapped? It's my bag. No, not the. A... Oh, okay. I'll just get the bag. <laughs> I think you meant if the He just gets in the trapped. bag thinking of, <laughs> thinking of dwarves are just stupid. What if it's trapped? I, I, took, it, I took it as the bag. I, I took yeah, it right? the same no, way I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> like, man, that's suspicious right there. Yeah. Like, when have I ever led you into a trap? <laughs> it's like playing with my dad. He checks for traps for every five seconds. Oh, my God. Not anymore, actually. Yeah, no, he's, he's gotten a lot better about that, but that first dungeon was... Yeah. Well, who made him so paranoid? Boulder's Gate, the computer game. Yep. Yep, that'll do it. All right, let's uh, head on in, I guess. Let's go. I open the door. Excellent. The door I, is opened. I am by Silas' side. Your door is ajar. Your yes. door is ajar. <laughs> ding, do, ding, do, ding, do. I'll follow. That's follow. a good alarm system. Leave My fridge that makes that noise now. The door's open <laughs> too long. Very well. In you go. And then he said the tower was to the... Up the stairs. Apart from the main entrance, this room has two exits. A plaster shelf lined with ornate vases circles the room at the height of nine feet. Spread across the flagstone floor is a 10-foot-wide, 15-foot-long rug of exquisite design, depicting a royal coronation. Two tapestries hang on the walls, and they depict a dragon flying over a ship and pilgrims on camels, respectfully. Respectively. And respectfully, why not? Um, okay. While I was reading that, you all moved into a very dangerous area. Who was the first to move there? It was kind of All right. exactly what it looked like, yeah. Um, Silas, you step on Caltrops. Oh, there, there's a trap in the about. lobby. Good lord. <laughs> so, uh, make a dexterity saving throw, please. I can make a dexterity saving throw. I can make for an 18. Excellent. Nice. So, much like uh, Falkran in the manor, you begin to step down on something pointy, and just as you feel the pain, you're able to pull your foot up before it does any damage, and you realize that there are tiny white caltrops 
interspersed between the light patterns of this rug. Warning, everyone. This rug is trapped, and isn't that an odd thing for a surprise visit? I told you there won't be trips. <laughs> <laughs> he did. You're right, Jax. Aren't you glad you're in the bag? Someone's father feels justified now. <laughs> <laughs> Just as you point out the call trips, Silas. Jumping out from behind all of the vases are imps. Uh. More imps than you've seen in one place ever. And they immediately <laughs> come down and attack. Uh. Jax's reputation precedes us. Mm -hmm. It's all about him. So, what was let it? me if get a, if the a initiative there, if tracker up. You be a oh, Jokes. we're going to erase the previous yeah. which we combat. See. Jokes on them. I've got an imp slayer in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. But don't get out there. And, but there is and you don't know. <laughs> so, Jax, if you spend the entire fight just sniping them from my backpack... This will be a glorious day. <laughs> Tail Gunner Jacks. I would allow it. <laughs> All righty. Suppose I should roll. There. <coughs> Red simian bodies are flapping around you. There's a. It's hard to make out just how many of them there are because of the wings and their tails are lashing and they begin swooping down one after another, attacking you. Seven tails. If I never see now, an imp as again. As far as the caltrops are concerned, now that you know that they are there, as long as you move at half speed through the rug area, you don't have to worry about stepping on them. Fair enough. Okay. Yes. What's, what's V3? We... Hmm? What's V3? Oh, that's, you revealed the room queue. Oh, oh, yes. V3. Yeah, that's, that's for me. Oh, okay. Shh. We'll put that back on the GM layer. So Sean V3? Crazy... You don't know what the V3 is? <laughs> Sean, crazy question. If we rolled up the carpet, would that get rid of the caltrops? It would be certainly an effective way of dealing with the problem. Maybe after we fight the imps, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Has everybody rolled initiative? Uh, think... We're missing Rhea and Persephone. I we rolled too soon Rhea. and it got yeah. uh, deleted, so I got so a Persephone one. rolled a, a five, so yeah. you might click on your token and roll again. It might show up and then you can edit it manually. Cool. And there's Rhea with the three. And there's Persephone. And just edit that back to what it actually was. Great. Done. There we are. And now we will redo Sweet. that. And at the very top of the order, we have Jax. Naturally. We're Jump natural it out of the train. Indeed. He's going to jump out and stab the first one with his uh, silver dagger. <laughs> Good. Um, which one they don't know he's I'm there. going to go ahead and give all of these Do they know I'm in the bag? Dots. Should I roll a stealth check for that? Um, yes, you should roll a stealth check. Thank you. Is it going to roll or what? There we go. 12. Ooh. Mm. Let's see. Let me make a roll here. Unless I get advantage. That's a 31 if I do. <laughs> I'm afraid there is no advantage. And they are aware that you are there. Oh. So you do not get sneak attack. on I do. Unless you attack someone who's right next to you. I'm right on. Yeah. So I'm yeah. next to Falcon. So. Right. So you'll get advantage anywhere. Anyway. All yes, right. So I'm tell right. me which one you're attacking. I'm attacking the one next to Falcon and me. Very oh, good. Top, top right. I've given them all little, um, little colored icons. So are you popping out of? Are you yeah. moving into a space? Or are you attacking from Falcon space? Oh, we'll attack from Falcon space and then move. Very good. Okay. Make uh, your roll, please. That's an eighteen to hit. That is a hit for thirteen damage. Wow. <laughs> that's crap damage. It's like that's near enough minimum damage. Well, it is enough to slay this imp. <laughs> It melts in a puddle of just purplish goo. So Man, should we say I've moved there, there or move? Uh... Yeah, let's say you move there and. Yeah. 
That is Jax done. That was beautiful. You just muted, Very you good. Just deleted Typhon. Me. You okay. deleted me like I meant nothing to you. <clears throat> I deleted you? <laughs> yeah. No. You did. No, I didn't delete you. I just sent you to the GM layer. Oh. You should be so lucky. Hello, I'm back. Nothing will just turn. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> to the one to my right. And Very good. Uh, he will hold up his hand, and green energy will start sparkling between his fingers, and he will say, Synchronisticos. And gra reach out to grab it. Very good. Uh, to do a shocking grasp on it. Um, oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, I have a 25 to hit. 25 hits. 13 points of lightning damage. <laughs> it splatters against the wall. Same stinking purpley goo. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to delete Jax again. <laughs> well, you know, na naturally. <laughs> That's Typhon done, unless you wish to move. I'll sort of move to the corner. Very good. Rim. All right. So uh, at level five, I get two attacks per turn if I use that for my for my turn. Uh, and then as a Gloom Stalker, I get one bonus attack for the first round of combat. That's so right. Three strikes. Um, so uh, just quick question. Since they are flying, is this one immediately to my left, uh, greater than five feet? Can I shoot it without disadvantage? Um, well, I haven't said that any of the other ones were, so that means that this one wouldn't be either. Uh, They've all flown in, getting ready to attack. Okay, so that I, I would not be able to attack that without disadvantage. Correct. Is that correct? Okay, well then I will. Uh, I'll go for this uh, orange guy right, right here. You do still have disadvantage because it's not. It's not the target. It's the fact that there is any but any enemy within five feet of you. You right. get disadvantage on a ranged oh. attack. Oh. Usually, if you're trying to attack somebody who's five feet from you, then it applies to that person. But just the fact that there is. Someone within five feet of you means. Oh, well, then you... I'll just move. <laughs> Very good. Uh, I'm going to uh, move one spot over to the right, and I will um, take my first attack against this red uh, imp. Very good. As you move, the imp takes an attack of opportunity upon you. Okay. He's he spins around and his tail whips out, hitting AC eleven. That is a miss. Indeed, it is. Um, my first attack uh, is a critical fail, so that is ineffective. Um, my second attack hits 17. That is a hit. Uh, for 14 points of bludgeoning damage, or excuse me, piercing damage. And you hit Mr. Orange? I hit Mr. Red, actually. Mr. Red. To take the one. That is enough to pin it to the wall. Oh, very nice. All right, and uh, then I will take my third attack, the Gloomstalker bonus attack uh, against the orange imp. Uh, and I draw back and shoot, maybe? Let's see. There's a bit of a delay, sorry Ooh. guys. Uh, ignore the last one, that was a double click, but uh, 24 to hit. Definitely hits. Uh, it's only five uh, piercing damage, but because this is my Gloomstalker attack, I get 1d8 bonus. Very good. Uh, for another five. So it's a total of 10. Very good. Well, this one clips it and the wing, and it begins to fly limply, but it has not taken it out. All right. That is the end of my turn. Wait a minute. Have I got that right? No, I am wrong. Uh, 10 does take it out. Oh, yeah. This is orange? Yes. Yes. Um, yellow's still there. That's the one I killed, wasn't it, yellow? That's the one I meant to send to the um, yeah. GM layer instead of you. Very good. That brings us to Silas. Silas is going to attack uh, purple. Purple. This is going to be... Using my glaive. I'm going to attack for a crit. Ooh, 26. Nice. Oh, very nice. <laughs> 17 God. points of damage to purple. Bang. You decapitate it and the head sort of sinks into the body as it melts. Very nice. And I'm just going to sidestep and step in and done. Falcon. Sean, I wish to draw Quietus and use it. If Very I may. good. 
Excellent. So I will go ahead and swing first on Mr. Pink uh, in front of me. Very good. I say, getting in my Reservoir Dogs vibe for today. <laughs> and that, no, no, no. I want to bring up 20. Did that populate? Not yet. Not. All right, so let's try that again, shall we? Quietus, there she goes. There it is. Ah. Uh, I'm with... afraid that is not a hit. Curses. All right, so swing and a miss, but I'm going to use my bonus action to bring about my spiritual weapon. Ah. I bring Guess forth, what? Bring Clock forth friend. Steve from the, the abyss. All right. Guess what I have for you. <gasps> Steve is holy. Steve's not from the abyss. Steve is... Uh, where is Ilmater from? What, what plane does he reside on? Um, uh, Mount Celestia, I believe. Yeah. Uh, okay. What'd you do? What'd you do? What'd you do? Where would you, so where do you want it to arrive? From uh, the heights of Mount I, Celestia. I wish, I wish it to, uh, I wish to hit mm. green. So green. it should you appear in the green. square next to uh, me. Not me. Very good. <laughs> no, 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 not that one. <laughs> Steve, not, not, no! Not the sickly, spooky green, but the nice, happy green. Animal. Oh, wait a minute. I'm sorry what? I blasphemed. Yeah. <laughs> no, you get killed. You're not no, the, sorry yet. You will be. Yeah, no, the evil green. No, the evil other green. evil green. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Steve! <laughs> there Ooh, is oh, that. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> Why is his name no. Jax? All yeah, right. you are named Jax. It's your name that is sitting down. But we could, of course, name the spiritual weapon Jax. There's no problem with that. Um, I feel like that would get confusing. It, yeah, probably. Um, oh, and so also, I'm cool. afraid I have to go back in time because, <gasps> uh, Rim, your attacks, while extremely impressive, were non-magical, which means they did not do full damage. Oh. So going back, I believe. Okay. So you're just saying is the imps get back up. You don't go back in time. Right. We thought yeah. they were slain, but Indeed. they limp back up. They're yeah. limping imps. Limping imps. They're limps. Limping impies. If they, they were in song, we're screwed. So they're not quite impervish, but... <laughs> Impervious, indeed. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, that is so Falkron done, unless you wish to move Falkron? Um, no, yeah. So uh, having struck with a 25 of force to the green, he is... Dead? Um, yes. Okay, lovely. All right. I should say so. All right, good. And it's like, there you go, Steve, showing off again. All right. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> just <laughs> right against the wall. He <laughs> falls down and <laughs> hated that tapestry anyway. Yes, All the right. tapestry's been ruined. Persephone. <laughs> uh, Persephone is going to attack Orange Imp with mm -hmm. her Arathia. And the imps got just ripped ah, up. That's my second one in a row. Oh no! Uh, so, she's gonna she's gonna triple crit fail. Bonus action, my dagger. So you haven't used your dagger yet. That's the hardest hitting thing you got. A Fifteen to hit. A fifteen is a strike, but it Four is non magical, damage, correct? Non magical, yes. All right. So you slash it, and it. Looks at you, and he's getting that little devilish grin, and his tail is lashing behind him. I hate him. And now they go. Boy, they really, they really suffered from going low in the initiative order in this particular combat. Well, let's see. We've got one on Silas. Mr. Pink attacks Silas. Hitting AC. 12. That's Pretty amazing. sure that's a miss. Thank you. Mr. Orange attacks Persephone. Hitting AC 24. Oh, it hits. <laughs> um, you took seven points of piercing, 12 points of poison damage. Whoa! Uh, Though they be but little. You just... Story of the small little rat. And the, the, uh, the stinger goes right into your neck and you feel poison burning through your veins. Um, I believe there's only one left. It moves to attack Rim. God, no saving throw as well. That's bad. It is. Uh, 
Right, hits AC 12. Um, and Jax, thank you for mentioning that. Now that I look, of course there's a saving throw. There's always a saving throw. Which is so, uh, yes, please make a saving throw, Persephone, to see if you can take half damage. Uh, what kind of saving throw? Constitution. Thank you. Yeah, I thought I'd mention it. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, what that is, is not happening? good enough. I'm, so I'm you took the full the poison. <laughs> well, this is probably the fight to throw. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> To be All fair, right, you yes. got up early, not enough coffee. Like, <laughs> All right. And no, that's Rim brought me coffee. Brings us I to did. Rhea's turn. I didn't say, I said not enough coffee. <laughs> she attacks three times. Ooh, you are not in the... She rolled two natural ones and a 13, but she only did four points of piercing damage with the short sword. So because it is non-magical, it is still up. It's a warm up. It's a warm up. Emergency. That brings us to the end of round one. Round two. Back to Jax. Oh. He, he knows he's there, but he sneaks in anyway. You know, like a cat tries to sneak up on someone. <laughs> and we'll try to stab him in the back. With a 25. Well, that is a hit. A 21 points of damage. <laughs> yeah, that, that takes care of it. Um,. You are the imp slayer. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> Typhon. I will um, summon the green spectral snake to wrap around its neck. Um, coming in at 19 point, 19 to hit. That is a hit. On, on the red one for eight points of necrotic damage. And it falls. Oh, good. That's assuming it doesn't get back up in a moment. No, not this time. Just making sure. Yeah, there is no saving throw. This is just an attack, right? Yeah, it was just a ranged spell attack. Right. So it falls dead. Ooh. Only one left. All right. Rim. Um, I will take my first attack, drawing my uh, bow back. Uh, 16 to hit. That is a hit. For 10 points. 10 points. Of non-magical. Of non-magic. So you hit the other side of the imp this time. It is still up. Oh, all right. Well. Ever, I'm going to say that <laughs> between now and the imp's turn, the odds of it surviving are fairly nil. So I'm going to say that that attack finished it. Okay. And you have cleared the foyer of imps. He just kind of went... Nah, and took his own life. <laughs> <laughs> the imp turns invisible. May. <laughs> and you have no idea where it went. I'm oh. going to clear the caltrops. I know mm -hmm. we've been kind of fighting and stepping and very carefully making all of our dexterity saving throws. Um, since we spotted them, it was easy. But I'm actually going to clear them, just kind of kick the carpet. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to crap. stay out of the bag now? And search for traps, which is what I meant to be here for, is it not? With your fancy glasses, yes. Do it. By all means, tell us if there's traps on the doors. There's a trap right here. There's cow traps. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen them, but I pick them up. <laughs> can I pick them up? You can. They seem to be made of bone. Sean, I'm going to be keeping my eye out for, um, didn't they say at one point there is a suit of armor that uh, has the potential to come to life? Amrick did mention something about that. Yeah, I'm going to uh, I'm going to be trying to pay special attention to where, as we travel, uh, to see if I can find it. All right. Shall I add a bag of cow traps to my equipment? Um, yeah. Um, it's, sure, a bag do of cow traps. Do you have a bag? <laughs> I've got, a, I've got a bag. Of holding. Does he have a bag? You could take a, you could take one it of the fancy vases down off the shelf, pour them in. Bag, the home, carriage, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. It's the vase of cow traps. <laughs> cow trap vase. Very well. What do you do? That was went fairly quickly, but did make quite a bit Jax of noise. Can, can Jax check for traps on the doors? I of course. Search for traps. For yeah. All right. Make an investigation check. Which door are you checking? Persephone, are you all right? Whatever one they asked me uh, to. That hurt. Uh, 
especially when we know that there's going to be much more uh, fighting to come. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on Persephone. There we go. Roll that healing undamage. Here's that healing undamage. Uh, you may heal yourself for eight. Oh. Hey, that's a lot better. All right, Jax, you were, uh, you were checking for traps on which door? Yeah, uh, yeah, which one would you want first? Probably this one, as it's the closest one to the the east door, closest to the tower. I will pop my glasses down. Oh, let me have a look at that for you, sir. So make this an advantage, thanks to your glasses. 23. <laughs> this door is not trapped, Jax. This one's definitely not trapped. Let me check the other one. And he'll walk over like he's some sort of posh git. Because he's got his glasses on. And he'll check that one. For an 18. This door is also not trapped. We're good. It was just the floor. All right. Let's move on. We made a lot of noise. Right. Perhaps right. open the one let's that you're make at. some more noise. Oh. All right. That's fine. The tower? I open the door and step and through. And you walk. This undecorated room contains four single beds and a dining table for the manor's servants. All right. Move through. I move through to the next door. Very good. I'm constantly sort of looking and trying to be as perceptive as I can as well. Same. Very good. Um, it is... You just if you need to tell me if you are indeed checking for traps. Sean, I believe mm -hmm. Steve is uh, done for the time being. Oh, very good. <laughs> Goodbye, Steve. Goodbye, Steve. Oh, search for traps it's on this door. Nice. Very good. Twenty-two. Who needs this a This door is not trapped. I open the door. That's you open the door and you hear <laughs> a woman is humming quite loudly does not I, appear to have heard I, you uh, I, I take my hand and lean it down behind Jack's and in you go you push him in <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> pleasant aromas fill this area throughout the day um, at the uh, Fill this area. It smells like um, some sort of uh, sugared pork is being cooked. Um, and you see a woman with her back to you, um, or to her side to you, uh, working on the, the uh, table. She's cutting up pieces of vegetable and pieces of meat. Um, and behind her is a strange creature. It looks kind of like a cat, but it has wings. And it's... And occasionally she throws a piece of meat behind her, and the cat flies up and grabs it. And as you come in, she goes, I look at like Silas. A, like a teapot. Was it something I said? <laughs> He's a goblin! He's a goblin! Slobber chops! Slobber chops! Get him! Get him! And the Slobber cat goes, Slobber chops. <laughs> Feed him. Cut with those slower chops. Oh. Cut your kids out. I immediately step into the room and be like, there you are. And I grab Jax and I hoist him up, try to put him in my bag. What do you want? I don't have anything. I'm just a cook. What do you want? What do you want? No, I'm, I'm so sorry. There was a, the goblin loose in the building. <laughs> Found him, took care of him, and said Who we were hired for the job. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, with a goblin cleanup crew. Amrick sent us. We're supposed to help with the prop button. Don't you worry your head about it. The ham smells delicious, by the way. Thank that's, you. That's why I was in here. Could I have a bit? Jax. Are you staying for dinner? Um, you know what? I don't think we are. But uh, we, I appreciate we're a bit that. Early. We could stay. Um, we, we could. Quick, quick check, uh, DM. I, um, hmm? It looks like there's a... a I can't really see the detail on the eastern wall. Oh, I'm wall. so sorry. Yes, let me uh, reveal a bit more. I can't tell if there's more. any doors or anything yes. over there. Okay, door so there some doors. and door there and a door there. So I'm seeing what would likely be double door entrance mm -hmm. uh, to the How many southwest. are there of you? Oh, we're just a, a small goblin hunting party. Uh, we're supposed to take him to the tower. Could you, could you point me in the right direction? Oh, he's upstairs. 
upstairs? Uh, and that would be, is that through this door? Or is that? Uh, she holds up a finger and she points to the double door down oh. by Silas. Oh, I, I bow to her. Thank you very much for your Thank help. you we'll so much. We'll be moving along. Could I get Again, some ham? Of I'd love a bit of ham. I do try to grab like a little handful of ham off See, the table. You just let him walk around like that. He's well, not supposed well, I do to. have legs. No, no, that's why we caught him. Oh, get him out. Of course, of course. I'm so sorry. Beautiful kitchen. Lovely cat. Nice to meet you. I open the door. Like, nice to meet you. Cat's a bit weird. It's got wings. Come in the kitchen. <laughs> Good kitty. Do I? Is this a? This seems like an interesting creature. Is it possible to identify? Uh, make a nature check. Oh, can I do that? I've got nature. Actually, I was gonna say. Good for the I open the door. Oh. Well, yeah. Thirteen. I've it's got a, a, six, a cat with wings. So. Go for. Four? It remains a cat with wings. It is. It is a um, a tressim. Um, if you will, my computer is being quite T- slow. Oh, all right then. So T R E S S Y M. Yeah. Oh yes, the tress is audible. You are cat with wings. Yeah. Thank you. It is literally a cat with wings. It has a few other fancy abilities as well, and I'm trying to bring it up for you all. It meows. For some reason, it's not letting me do beyond twenty. Well, I mean, can catch treach. We'll just have to use our imagination. Let me find it. If it's a nice picture, I'm going. To, I am going to find it for you. So, okay. if I can, mm-hmm. there we are. So, Silas, what do you think the odds are we go through this door and we just have another pleasant conversation with someone? I would love to, but this appears to be a magic door. No matter how many times I open it, it's not open yet. Oh. <laughs> well, the, Jackson, the world is more focused on the tressum than the door at the moment, Silas. It's a very grumpy kitty. He does look like a grumpy kitty. It's watching you as you go by. You should probably not read the last sentence. I'm still pointing my dagger at it. Oh, I'll have you. <laughs> can, can I have my ham? <laughs> I, I walk over and get a piece of ham and just toss it to Jax. And I say to the lady, he won't stop asking otherwise. Uh, he's, she's right. Jax. So you feed the cat or do you feed Jax? Jax. So we feed Jax. Feed yeah. Jax. The Who's... cat watches the food. Uh, he's holding his dagger up to the cat. <laughs> no, 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 Jax. So Jax, the door seems interesting. Oh, yes, the door. Why is it magical? Well, we don't know. Let's find out. Oh, okay, I'll check it then. Roll your investigation, 14. please. Well, he's eating a bit of ham. He's just looking at it. He's forgot to <laughs> this put his glasses. This is not on. trapped. Definitely not trapped. The ham's good though. Excellent. Melon. Do you open the <laughs> melon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very good. And we it's enter. A riddle. Oh, hello, person. Uh-oh. You see before you um, a hall. And standing there is an absolutely ancient man. <laughs> his so... eyebrows come way, way down over to the sides of his head. He's got a mustache and scraggly beard. And he's stooped with age. And he's just looking. He's, you can't even tell if his eyes are open. Mr. Magoo. Is, is that you, Master Amrick? No, no, Amrick was with us. He let us in. We're just going to the tower. Nothing to see here. Passing through. Very Are these the good. stairs? Mr. Amrick. <laughs> I better check his pockets. In the corner, you see a young woman about 19 years old. She's got a silver platter and she's holding it up. Like panicking, looking at you all. Just is that uh, worse? I think. Can I have it? She's Max, petrified. Precious. Speaking of fellow nineteen-year-olds, uh, Rhea Mantelmorn should be with us. 
Yeah, she's coming. She's coming. <laughs> <laughs> she's wrapped up. She really yeah. likes that rug. Yeah. She's like, you guys, it's trapped. I cannot walk across it. <laughs> Check the old man for keys. <laughs> no, don't forget, we're Stop. looking for Thavius Creek. Right? The, whole, the high overseer of Elterel. That's why we're yes. here. Yes, of course. Thavius Creek. We were told it, yes. the way down was upstairs. Yes. So. Okay. All right. That, 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 I'll follow you all, whatever you say. So uh, there are windows in this room, but um, there are black curtains that are drawn. Um, keeps this uh, hall very dark. Um, and there is an eclectic collection of tapestries on the wall. Paintings, alabaster busts on pedestals. Um, and uh, in the corner here is a six foot tall wax statue depicting Duke Thalamra Van Dampur cradling the winged cat that you just saw. Slobber chops in her arms. Um, and the cat has a wax rat in its mouth. And it's just huge looking, just dourly staring down the uh, the um, room there. Really a these, charming family. These people have the worst interior decorators. And I live in the slums. <laughs> <laughs> and there is indeed a staircase here um, that goes up. Mm. Hmm? Up we go. Up the stairs. Up, up, up the stairs we go. All right. And then a tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Roll 20 is just be really misbehaving. No worries. I get winded when I go upstairs, so this will take some time. Very dangerous over Shulker <laughs> has very short little legs. It's, yeah. it's harder for her to get up those natural, this is natural sprinters. Mm -hmm. um, very dangerous over long distances. I start on this open country. Um, if you will all bear with me a moment, I'm going to uh, switch around a couple of things. I think my mouse is giving me problems. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Ooh. Oh. Well, then so, while so, we're waiting, I can share. Yeah. He's, you're the new DM. Congratulations. Share a little the old oh, oh, that's, you don't want that. Uh, no, I can give you a tiny bit of backstory about the bow while we're. Uh, oh, let's, let's hear it. Yeah. Let's, so, as we were walking to this location, Rim yeah. was telling us about the bow. Uh, it's a, it is a bow that uh, he and his father designed uh, when he was sort of being raised in isolation, um, but never really had the opportunity to. Um, to have it crafted before. Uh, and we, uh, Persephone and Rim, came across uh, the bowyer who had been driven out of business uh, due to gambling debts. And um, and he had created the bow and was so uh, impressed with the final creation, he kept trying to make things of the same level of grandeur, but failed repeatedly. And being unable to create anything, he. Uh, his business fell into ruin. So we gave him the crystal, uh, the crystal pig, owl, hawk thing. <laughs> Damn you, um, people! <laughs> and, uh, and no, it's 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 a pig. That's canon. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Is, it is a crystal pig. Uh, I tried. So, ca camera off. To, uh, oh, camera off. Oh, sure. Boop. And then back on. Camera back on. That's it. And then it is d -d 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 Silas. Falcon, Tess, I believe, and then Peter. There you go. Huzzah! Huzzah! Yeah, Video very good. Edit. And that is I'm how sorry. I became a fourth level cleric. All right. <laughs> that it, it was, in fact, my mouse that was giving me the trouble. Things seem to be working much better now. Okay, my apologies. Take, we'll take a, a pause and then Sean reset us. Right. So we were discussing the wax statue of the Lamra, and I wanted you all to see her um, as I described this. Oh, there she oh, is. Yeah. yeah, she is a charmer. She's got a barrel chest. She looks to be in her 60s, but you can see even in the wax statue, her 
hands and forearms seem to be massive. Um, this is definitely a woman who did not grow up in, <laughs> I thought it was a big bird, did not grow up in the lap of luxury. I can see the resemblance to Mortlock already. Of yeah. course. It's Mortlock in a headband. Indeed. <laughs> Excellent. And there is, in fact, a set of staircase leading upstairs. I was what quite serious as I was walking past the old man. I wanted to check his pockets if he had any keys. All right. Make a sleight of hand check. Got advantage. 18. You are able to get in all of his pockets. Doesn't seem to have anything. Except a couple it's of hard basically. caramels and then <laughs> a couple of very just ancient wrapped, rock wrapped candies. In plastic. <laughs> we don't know what plastic cents. is, but they're wrapped in something clear. Yeah, 50 cents. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's you original. Know, Sonny, don't spend it all in one place. I don't know what these blue pills are, but I'll take them. <laughs> He's standing there just you know, if you hadn't just spoke, you'd swear he was dead. Uh, Come on, Jesse. That. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> So now what would you like to do? What's going on? I think we're heading upstairs. <laughs> upstairs. Let's go. All right, who's Please, going God, first? go upstairs. Uh, Jax should go first. Oh, <laughs> I takes his hands out of pocket. Okay. I'll head up first, checking for traps on the way. All right, make an investigation check on the steps. 21. There are no traps on the stairs, in case. I will walk up. Up you go. You go, Goblin. That's right. I'm going to move you to the proper place. Oh. And, and he's gone. reveal it. Like that. Yeah. Come with me and you'll be in the world of pure intoxication. Hey, hey, you see yourself there, Jax? I've moved you to I do indeed. the right. And up you go. Just a step to the right. I will keep, obviously, just... And then a jump. Staying alert, looking for people, listening out. Make a perception check. I've got a passive of 19. All right, wow. well, then I will make a check of my own. But I can roll if you like. No, no, no. Percep <laughs> passive of 19 should probably take care of this. As as uh, I am your witness, Jax, he acknowledged your passive perception. Mm -hmm. I've wrote it on my character. <laughs> All right, well... A couple of them rolled very well, but one of them rolled a two. So you are aware that there are people whispering. I will stop and then try to be more perceptive. Up. I think they're coming up. Everyone be ready. Stand fast. I'll look around. So you're right there at the corner. Can I hide? Do make a sneak you can hide there <laughs> you can hide there but there's no if you step beyond that corner there is no place to hide I did you can see. plus 11 I got 14 <clears throat> alright um, Falkren and Silas are at the bottom of the stairs looking mm -hmm. up at Jax like waiting like, like, okay what do you do Jax I'll uh, whisper back they, they know we're here <laughs> There's hundreds of them. Let's charge. There's hundreds I mean, of yeah, them. Yeah, sounds like a great plan. <laughs> I charge. I charge. All right. Oh, up gosh. you charge. I see him coming up the stairs in a panic. <laughs> he flattens himself against the wall. <laughs> run right by. We're All going right. to surprise them. Yeah. So, Jack, uh, Silas, you come running up. Do you go past Jax? Yes. He I'm, gonna, I'm sure that Jax gets out of the way. All right. Yeah, you, yeah, walk, panics, you move into the room. I'm going to ready an action shot. Well, can I ready an action while I'm running? Is that the 11? No one is surprised. However, they were all holding attacks for whoever comes in first. Oh, yikes. So let's roll some dice and then we'll roll initiative. Thank you, Scott. There's no way I was going out there first. All right. So they are throwing spears. Now, I also charged Hitting. with him, so was it... Well, one of you had to go first. Okay, okay, all right. So that's a hitting AC 11? Nope. Hitting AC 4? Nope. <laughs> 4? Nope. 
17? Yes. Oh. All right. Take five piercing damage. Just imagine all these spears hitting the wall. <laughs> I imagine both um, fours, they just threw them flat. There like, is like straight at It seems to be a captain or a leader of some sort behind them, and he shoots with a heavy crossbow, hitting AC 21, doing five nope. points nope. of piercing damage. I said no. How much? Five points of piercing damage. And there's also a uh, devil of some sort. It looks like uh, similar to the one that was with Amrik in the Low Lantern. And it spins around and barbs come shooting off of its hide at you. AC 10, nope. AC 16. Nope. All right. So both of them embed in the wall, uh, like go over your head. Yeah, those were, those were held actions? Those were held actions. That's oh, wait, I'm sorry. Only one of them. So sorry, both of them missed. So it's good. But only one of them could attack. Only one of them was an attack. The multi attack would not have been possible. Okay. Um, so the second one didn't hit or what? None of them hit. None, nothing hit or? The, well, the, spear heavy, hit. Cross, the, the heavy cross well, hit. Cross the spear hit. hit. Okay. But none of the tail spines hit. Very good. And now and they now have used all the reactions will, is what I mean? They have used... We are, we are now starting um, initiative. This was held action for the first person coming up. And that would have been you. So, please... Initialize. Be so kind as to roll initiative. Well, that wasn't too bad. Come on, you. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm getting to think that part of the problem I'm being just held up by my tech. I love the idea that Silas is like, let's charge. And Falcon's like, yeah, let's do it. And then takes you off go first. Like, stairs. <laughs> <laughs> <My old nemesis. laughs> this should not Ugh. take this long why is it taking so long for these things to come up <sighs> so annoying I apologize so... everyone no it's alright it's right. we will now tell the story of how Persephone delivered her first monologue <laughs> Persephone <laughs> let's see okay I think I do have everyone now let me put on some appropriate music And I believe we have everyone this time. So first up, we have Rim. All right, um, Sean. Yeah, I'm a 17, and I'm not. I don't see myself in the turn order. All right. Well, I will fix that for you. Oh, that's all I wanted. Yeah, I had to roll again for some reason. Even I did click on my uh, token, but I've added it now anyway. What was your seven? You were 17, you say, Paul? Yeah. All right. Oh, and lovely. And are you up there? I see you, uh, Jax. You don't see yourself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I rolled again, and then I changed it to my original roll. Even You're good. Though I, okay. Even though I rolled an actual 20 for my second roll. All right, so Rim. Okay, so uh, Rim is going to charge up the stairs. It's going to take him a little bit of extra movement to... Uh, Get past Falkron and Silas. Yeah, correct. Right. Um, but uh, because it's my so first where did you start? Combat, uh, I started at the base of the stairs... Okay, um, so that's one, two through Persephone, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Doesn't look like you'll be able to get all the way to the top. I actually have, so Gloomstalker for the first uh, attack course. gets a bonus 10 feet to move. So that Up should you go. get me nice. in here, yes? Yes, it would. All Just right. enough. Okay. Uh, now the Spiny Devil, uh, that... Is, that needs magical damage to damage it effectively if I'm remembering it is previous a devil. combat. Combined. It is a devil, yes. Yes. All right. Well, then I'm going to take my shots at the captain. Very good. Um, so uh, first regular attack uh, is a 25. That is a hit. For 11 points of damage. Very nice. The second attack is a 16. Um, that does not pierce his armor. Ah, all right. And then my third attack, uh, my Gloomstalker bonus attack, is a 27. Um, Very good. And ignore the crit. Uh, so five points. It's five points plus my bonus D8 um, for another six. So another 11 points. So it's Very good. Of 22 for the... Okay. 
Okay, that is Rim done. Persephone. All right, I am going to move past my compatriots and get to right there. Very good. Uh, and then I'm going to cast Shatter right here. Nice. Uh, uh -huh, at the second level. Um, uh, shatter, shatter, shatter. How, what's the radius on that? Um, it is 10 feet, so that should be hitting all of them and not any take of us. Care of all of them, right. Yeah. Um, cast that spell. It's a uh, con save 15, take half damage on a fail. I want to know how she casts it. 13. Yeah. Oh, oh, um, she's never cast it before. It's new. So she, uh, get, oh, oh, wait, I don't know how, what's the, is it a, if it's, it's a verbal, it. somatic, and material, but you can use your instrument. I, so I suppose she, pulls out her lute and says shatter uh, and strikes a chord uh, but it, it also harmonizes her own voice when it happens. Cool. Is, it, it, is it a dissonant chord? Oh, for sure. It's minor. Yeah. Microtones well, apart from one another. <laughs> vibrating. And, yeah. Hey, that's science. So I mean magic. All of the <laughs> let's see here. Same thing. Guard. Con saves, you say? Uh, yeah, 15. Fail. Nice. Fail. So they all Fail. take 13 thunder damage. Er, One of them succeeded. So he takes. Looks seven. like Brown succeeded. Green succeeded. Of course. How many does he take? Seven on a fail. Seven. And the rest? Is that right, guys, or is it six? Or a it's rounded down. Six. Should be six. 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 Does, does V11 take full damage? V11 does take full damage. V11 goes to the GM layer. Um, <laughs> and that, the other three clutch their ears and fall to the ground and seem to expire. Nice. Let me just nice. take care of them real quickly here. So that's three of the guards dead. I will do his, but I don't know. The captain saves. So that's six points or seven points? Six. Six. Six, six points. All right. And the spine devil. Fails. Good. I got stuck with one of those spines back at that bar. It did not feel good. <laughs> Very that was good. her spinal tap. Yes, yes, indeed. <laughs> what state are you guys in? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I believe it was We're the calling state it of, an airstrike. Yeah, the state of disarray. If you're right. <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's hello. Bio. <laughs> All right. Next up, we Orange. have Typhon, I believe. Yes. Um. I will uh, step up the stairs right behind Falkrin here. Can I see one of these two from there? Um, can you? So you are here. It's ten feet of stairs, right? So yeah. Yeah, you you have no line of sight. Okay. Do, do, do. All right, I will move um, through. So let's see. It's five, ten, five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, 30, I think. And we'll pull. Or I will look at my hand and sort of reach out and what looks to be like a, a vine with the troubling head of what seems to be a fanged viper will go up and wrap, hopefully wrap around this spine devil as I try and pull it towards me with my new toy and a thorn whip. Mm, and 24 cool. to hit. That's a hit. Nice. 10 magical piercing damage. It goes right through him and comes back to your hand and it falls to the ground. Oh, I was hoping and to dissolves. do more with that. Oh. <laughs> well, damn. That's about all I got. Very good. Next, we have the veteran. The veteran saw what you just did, pulls out his crossbow and fires at you, Typhon. Boom. 
with a crit. Oh my goodness. Hitting All right. Easy. Let's uh, roll another six. Ooh. Fifteen points of piercing damage. Ooh. As the wow. bolt. Did he roll max damage? Wow. Yep. That's a lot of damage. Ooh. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I added. Okay, it kept it. All right, it automatically added it. So let's make that 10 points of piercing damage. Oof. All right, I like that better. <laughs> that extra D6 did not need to be rolled. It was already encountered and involved. All right, so that is the veteran done, Falkron. All righty then. So Falkron's uh, having seen everyone in the party rush past her on the stairs. What are you going to do? Oh, Boots of speed are winging. This is bullshit. All right, and then so she gets to the top of the stairs, comes through the center there. So that's 10, 15, 20, 25. Gets me into melee range. It does indeed. Lovely. And she will swing quite us at the captain, having just seen Typhon take the bolt. She will swing and a 22 to hit. 22 is a hit. With seven one hand, uh, seven slashing damage Very good. to the good captain. Magical slashing, mind you. And uh, I've been so minded. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and then uh, she's going to go ahead and turn, and using a bonus action, she'll use healing word to Typhon. Oh, lovely! Very and nice. will cast that, and so oh. he heals for eight. Nice, nice. I like beautiful. this. Yes. Very good. That's Falkron done. The Silas. Silas steps forward. If I can grab myself. Five, ten to there. Fifteen. And I'm going to attack with the glaive on the glaive. <laughs> glaive the and... uh, Sixteen. Are you attacking who? The, uh, the captain? The fellow in the back. Not the putty. Not ah. the putty. The, yes, I'm afraid that a 16 does not hit. Oh, okay. Then I'm going to continue. That was 15, 20, 25, 30, and I'm done. Very well. That will bring us to Jax. Not so inconsiderate. Just walk all over me, mind you. Uh, he'll <laughs> walk in 5, 10, 15. Hello. <laughs> Just stab him. <laughs> and his ears uncovered. He's still um, suffering from the effects of the shatter. And you attack. For 19. That's a hit. 18 damage. Oh, yeah. He falls dead. You're welcome. <laughs> and I will continue my movement. And bonus action hide. Not that right. I really need to. 21. Nice. Okay. No, I'm, not, I'm going to say that's not enough cover to be hiding from uh, the threat that's there. Oh, you're, sorry. You're literally yeah. right in front of him. <laughs> I was looking at Silas thinking that was, yeah, yeah. So. He goes. <sighs> right. <laughs> I'll probably, uh, yeah, sorry, now, I, I probably wouldn't have moved would in go, then. But they're all dead. Uh, Which brings us to Rim. All right. Uh, he's going to attack the nice. uh, captain. Oh, 25. For, that is a uh, hit. 13 points of damage. Oh Boom. my goodness gracious. Is he still standing? He's still standing. All right, second attack. Uh, a 26 for another nine. He's got three arrows in him. Oh, I'm starting to get some Sean Bean. Oh, oh, oh now. for sure. Oh, <laughs> Drops his crossbow. He's reaching for his short sword. He cuts the arrows as he pulls out his short sword. He's just barely standing. Looks like he probably can't even take a breath. He's he's working on the last breath he's ever going to take. That brings us to Persephone. Oh, she feels the finisher. Bad. Yeah, clearly. Uh, I'm gonna just go straight for that dagger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> To him, I am that Urukai. Wow. What? I'm clicking it. I'm a clicking it. 
going? There we go. Oh, hey. 18 That'll is enough. Up. Do you throw it? I No, I just come up, slit his throat. <laughs> Ball's dead. Well done. That is at least two melees, and not one of us has died. How can you know better than to tempt your god I know, like right? that? I mean, to be fair, it's usually me, so I'm, I'm just saying, I felt good saying it. That you, again, check. Can I made hear quite a lot of... Can I hear um, any... Yeah, make a perception check. Yeah, I'll have a listen Crashing well. and bashing and stuff. Uh, I don't hear anything with the roll of a seven. Twelve. Um... I think they know we're coming. Are we using perception? Yeah. Through um through the doors and the walls, I'm afraid, yes. No. Those perception checks do not And is let you this know. a door? It is. I'm just in the process okay, of great. revealing it All for right. you. A lot of doors up here. Should we check the floor before we move on? Make sure there's no one behind us. I, I mean, there's wanna, plenty of. There's plenty I want to check the uh, the the guard looking veteran. I think is what he was called. I want to check his body before Jax runs over here and gets up to a thousand gold. Don't know what you're on about. Okay, make a uh, investigation check, please, Mister Scott. I'm just checking him for keys, common things. I'm not rifling his pockets. It's fine. Oh, if he's only checking for keys, I'll check his 17. pouch. All right, his pouch contains five gold pieces and eleven I, silver pieces. I was saying pieces. I was checking for such things, not <laughs> excluding any particular I was area. Just <laughs> I was just—I already said that because you said I was checking for you. I was only checking. He for does you. not seem to have any keys, but he does have five gold pieces and eleven silver pieces. I leave them as they are. Very good. Oh, John. Well, yeah. I'm going to move down the hallway and give a listen to see if I can hear any anyone any other conversations coming from the doors okay so the door that <coughs> silas is in front of uh you want a perception roll for that yes i do lovely a 13 again you can't hear anything i'm afraid all right you can hear there's people moving in the house you hear yeah. you know stuff downstairs you hear some something fall in the kitchen or something like that but other than that no we are no. past subtlety why don't we just open the doors this is true is anyone taking that gold <laughs> i think we should keep moving times of the s that's a yes. good idea uh, i pick up that's... the five gold <laughs> good <laughs> let's clear the floor i'm a loot goblin all right all right yeah no i check the door at the end of the hallway very good and perception what do you roll a 19 Mm, with a 19 perception, you can tell that there is nothing in that room. However, you can definitely hear whispers coming from this room. I, I immediately um, look back down the hall. Well, I look at Silas, look back down the hallway, put this, and then point to the door, which is this one here, friends. Mm -hmm. I go to the door. All right, and I... Would you like me to check it? Is Raya with us? Yeah, Jack, she is. She's guarding Jack's, the stairs. Would you be so kind? Oh, of course, yes. I'll go and investigate for traps. Slip my glasses back on. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Somebody needs to make this art. Definitely I, not trapped. Like I need like a chain with a monocle on it. They just okay. with a roll of a nine, it is not trapped. <laughs> Uh, it'd be right. my guest. I'm going to go back to loot. <laughs> Stop drawing glasses on me. <laughs> right. Shall, uh, may I, Silas, since you took the last one? By all means. Oh, lovely. I open the door. All right. As you put your hand on, the, um, on the doorknob, there is a needle-fine pin that's sticking out of it. And you put your hand on it, it goes right into your palm take one point of piercing damage and i say a oh, constitution crap. save at advantage please oh crap because of you're a dwarf yes i told you it was trapped a one and a two a seven yeah. and a 20. Oh, very good Ooh. 20 is definitely good enough um and now 
Let's see, make a roll. Because you are a dwarf, you will take half and then half again of this poison mm -hmm. damage. You are not poisoned. You take Lovely. three points of poison damage. The uh, reminds me of the trap that's in the book of the Princess Bride when Inigo and mm -hmm. Fezzik go to the final layer of the mm -hmm. Zoo of Terror. Yes. It's a book. Oh, nice. Was that it trapped? Is the best book. Th okay. Oh, I gave it, I gave it to my godchild. Don't worry. That's a fantastic book. <laughs> All right. So you open the door. I I do. Also, I say, handles trapped. I oh, was it. Oh, and... hang on a minute. <sighs> I've got a smudge on my glasses. How did they get there? Oh, <laughs> I'll uh, clean them and put them back on. And enter the As room. I like it. Um, you step into the door and you see Thirstwell Von oh. Tampor. <gasps> he is a thin, emaciated man. Um, he's got very sunken in cheeks ratty greasy hair he's wearing robes that hang on him like he maybe has negative body fat um and he looks as you come in the door and he goes what's that come out and he um, casts sacred flame upon you falcon but first let me remove all that That's the final brother, right? This is the only brother you have not met. Correct, yeah. So, with his sacred flame, he hits. You need to make a DC, uh, a, d a dexterity saving throw, if you please. Lovely. Thankfully, that thing I'm not adept at. <laughs> uh, oh. Yep. All not right, so you take. At all. You take six points of radiant damage. That feels awfully close to home. But and I'm... now we will roll initiative. All right. I swear to God, if everyone else rushes in the room past Ooh. me. Oh, that's better. Oh, don't worry, I won't be. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying, Rim, you are hot tonight, man. You I are... do the 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 initiative you... rolls are on fire. I know you're that bow, man. It's like damn. Everyone's Rim, fast. I'm, it. I'm slow on a 17, so that's... Yeah. yeah. This is the part where someone rushes Jax up, kills him, looting. and then like a demon How? erupts, right? Oh, that's that makes sense, yeah. I'm cleaning yeah. my glasses still. Shout out, to my <laughs> man. Shout out to my man Rico on the stream. Rico! <laughs> All righty. So up first we have Persephone. Me? Me? Not, not nope. uh, Rim. Not Rim? Rim, you didn't show up here for some reason. Oh. Um, Maybe I was too I fast. Will, I, uh, I will add you. His initiative was so fast. He's not so fast on the initiative make it on the turn order. He's on his own initiative. That's <laughs> like right. A different chart altogether. Okay. Uh, what did you roll? Uh, 26. 26, my goodness. There we go. Thank you. For some reason, it wouldn't let me right click. All, All right. right. Um, was... So... Uh, he's his first two attacks are just going to be uh, simple arrow attacks, um, shooting from the back here. Uh, a twenty-four. Twenty-four hits for nine. All right. The second attack is a twenty-three. <laughs> Jesus, uh, it's a hit for fourteen. And then Rim reaches for a javelin, and you see him pull his arrow with both strings back. His muscles are... There's sort of... no need. Oh. Both so of the can... arrows strike him. <laughs> both oh. eyes. Oh. And he falls over. Oh, I was so dead. excited. Was we meant to kill him. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, he's dead, so... Persephone notices what you were trying to do and goes... <gasps> Oh, she's like, I'm sorry for you too. She wanted to see it. Uh, I move up and start searching the body, Sean, if there's any sort of like keys or like. Very good. Or interesting boxes. Drab curtains cover the windows of this plain room, which contains a bed, padlocked iron chest, a claw footed iron bathtub, and a fireplace. A lot of this other text doesn't have to happen now because he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And he says, absolutely nothing. He says, absolutely nothing. So much for getting information out of him. Sorry, guys. Well, got so um, he is, he does have um, a set of keys in his pocket. Are they are we not, just... they're, 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 you can practically see the, the bulge of them. There's, they're not hidden at all. Are we concerned about it getting information out of him? Because I can speak with the dead. It's quite a powerful spell, Ooh. but I can uh, do it. It's a bit creepy. I'm going to check yeah, this imagine... door. I imagine spare the dying at this point is uh, oh, he's dead. Not an option. <laughs> yeah. No, um, not spare the dying. It's no, I was talking dead. about my uh, one of oh. my cantrips, but it was gotcha. just like <laughs> five five questions. Um, you have to be the one asking the questions, Persephone. If the um, creature perceives you as an enemy, it could lie, and right. complicated questions should be avoided. Yes. Yeah. Now, well, technically, I didn't see you. At t- oh, but he knows us, doesn't he? Fucking thirst. Well, he's been he's been stalking us for months. Um, we could just I, take I his asked... head and ask later. <laughs> oh, that's dark. Uh, it's been done. Um, or perhaps you could take the helmet off the veteran. And disguise I... yourself just a wee bit. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, go ahead. Again, I, I think time is something that we are growing short yes. of. Uh, uh, check the room, see if there's anything in terms of uh, maps or papers, anything that would tell us where the hell the hostages are being held. Uh, Make an investigation check. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there is no, there's no desks or anything like that in this room. Uh, did you mean an insight check? Work. No, I sure didn't. I don't think so. <laughs> How about a nine? I'm afraid not. Is German for no? Yep. So, <laughs> didn't didn't Mortlock tell us about the box? Um, Mortlock did not tell you about a box. It was the doppelganger. Right. Zezeri. Did he does Does he have this item? You do not find it on him. I believe he said. But it there is the a basement. locked chest. Oh, it was in his picture. Boo. Jack. It was in his picture. Oh, well, I'm checking this door. And I'm like, so you open it like that, and a needle comes out. <laughs> That's clever, isn't it? You don't say. Hmm. Hey, how about this treasure chest? Do you, can you figure out how it opens? Oh, well, if it's Perhaps got the same contraption, correct... maybe. Might be a key on him as well. Oh, oh. okay. I'll have a search. All right. So, Sean, I, I just one second, and I pull out the keys, and I try. How many of them are there? There are two. Oh, okay, that's fine. I was like, all right, key number 32. No. All right, so uh, I try both keys in the lock. All right, it's one of them explode in it. And it opens. All right. Jax, do you want to check to see if this thing is going to explode on me, or should I just roll with it? Well, you know, I'm pretty good at searching for traps. I'll go check it for traps. Put my glasses on. No smudge this time. <laughs> Natural <laughs> twenty. Twenty four twenty. It is not trap. Oh, good. All right, and I open it up. All right. Inside you find um let me see here. Whoa, whoa, whoa hang on a minute. I opened um, it. The treasure's it mine. Contain, it contains a jumble of wrinkled garments, a red wax candle, some quills, black sheets of parchment, parchment and jars of ink. Um, it holds a wooden coffer containing 73 gold pieces, 120 silver pieces, and a potion of healing. All right. And this. Oh, all right. Oh, well, now that seems interesting. Uh, Typhon, there are some quills and candles in here for you. Jax, you may have this, and I hand him the box. Very nice. And um, for some reason, the work I did to hide the information that would be available to you once you cast Identify has not seemed to work. So if you would be so kind as to not read what it says, just look at the picture I and shan't... wait until Typhon or someone else identifies what this is. Oh, it's a pretty box. It is a very it is. pretty box. I should fetch um, a pretty penny. This beautifully Typhon? carved box with runes and shapes all around it. You run a hand over it and 
even though parts of it seem like it should be rough, it feels smooth. So and sharp. parts of it feel cool to the touch. Parts of it feel hot. All right, so I can I can uh, I can read and speak both uh, abysmal and celestial. Do I am I recognizing any of the, the symbols on it or the make a religion check? Lovely. This is as I smooth speak... as a goblin's bum. I speak infernal as well, if that makes any difference. I rolled an eleven on my religion check. You have no idea what this is. I have no idea. The runes what this look is. like they have elements of infernal and such on it, but. It doesn't look like it's actually languages. There, it's more of a just symbols, bits and pieces of things that have been taken. And it's possible that you can see a little bit of one symbol here and another symbol there. If you were to combine them, they might say something. But they're on opposite sides of the box. Uh, Typhon, the, uh, yes. are you are you looking at this? I am. It's fascinating, but. Um... Again, perhaps something for later. Or can mm -hmm, I can mm -hmm. properly identify it. Of course. Uh, Has anyone checked uh, his body, Thirstwell's body? I yeah. I all he had was the keys. Oh, okay. I see. I'm Gotcha. And sh sh then Sean cursory glance around the room. Uh, and anything else that would be locked or appear to have a key? Make or... an investigation check. Lovely. Thank would you. Would you like me to help? Uh, the probably box. a good idea. That would be delightful. I rolled an 11. I'm being very consistent. <laughs> I rolled I'm a 24, you don't find 20 anything. again. Hmm. Oh, nice. Consistently well, now, was that, was that, was that a help? Uh, you gave the help no, action? No, I was searching for myself. Searching for yourself. So, okay, you don't yeah. find anything. All right. Uh, Did you all notice well, the, 24. the spell he cast upon Falcon when we entered the room? Sacred flame. I felt the radiant heat of it. It... I didn't. Th I mean, how could he have done that? Power given to him by someone or something, obviously. Huh. If only we could uh, prove it, but it certainly confirms our suspicions. They are in league with something greater. You say I didn't find anything with a twenty-four, Sean? Yeah. Oh, of course you did, because you have your glasses. Mm -hmm. Well, once again, you have shown up Falkran the Dwarf, because you have found a secret door. I'll never do that to you. What? I'll never, ever do that to Falkran. <laughs> Look what you missed, you silly dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> there is a simple secret door. Dwarf-proof door. We have just... Just a little too high off the ground for you, Falkran. Look, I, I spent my time studying the fine art of brewing, and if you ever want to go over the quality of a hop, I can school you in that, but fuck off. It just won't be a very tall <laughs> hop, that's all. It's a very mm -hmm. short hop. Yeah. It's a... All right. Mm. We'll um, have a discussion about alpha acids later, but let's go. Mm. What do you do? Uh, let's open the door. Right, so you step out. This is a balcony. Um, you can look out into the Manorborn distance. You see, not too far away, um, the roof of Riverstone Manor. And you can see the rest of the uh, upper city of Baldur's Gate. And it is raining quite heavily. Uh, the tower is just up to the... The tower, the tower appears to be looming in front of you on the other side of this balcony. Okay. Oh, well, awesome. Head that way. I'm sorry, just a quick question. Uh, what door are we talking about? What is it? Ha -ha, is it not ha -ha. revealed? Ha -ha. No, 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 Sean, you didn't. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I'm doing that to me. Yeah, I search in this room as well, to be honest. Balcony? All right, make an investigation so check. Is, is this the balcony? <laughs> yes, you're looking, standing right here, you are looking out over the city. 18, Sean. 18, you don't find anything. But you're getting wet. I open the door. I'll stand underneath rim so I don't get wet. Yeah, I'll cover you with my cloak. Very well. You open the door. I don't go in oh, there. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. There's a friend in the corner. 
I wonder if that's an oak normal. writing desk angled to face the middle of the room has a matching chair behind it and two black candlesticks atop it. Other furnishings include three bookcases, a freestanding suit of plate, black armor topped with a bucket helm, equipped with a long sword and shield, and there's a wrought iron stair- spiral staircase leading up. And as the door opens, the armor goes <laughs> and flames <laughs> light up inside the helm and it steps forward towards you silas <clears throat> if everyone would be so kind as to roll initiative is that two armors there then correct sean uh it One should only be nor- let's see there's the, there's one that looks like an actual like baddie, and then there's something in the uh, yeah that is that corner. is just a chest. That oh, is okay. not a. I see. I think it's a chest. Well, we'll we'll talk about that later. Anyway. Let's get some good music going here for fighting. Okay, and that is actually. Oh, oops. There we go. Man, I've been rolling crap for initiative. We appreciate We're very it. appreciative of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anybody? Everybody up? I think I so. I think we got it all. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, okay. Typhon, you're up, buddy. <laughs> cool. Um, I don't really want to run in there. Um, <laughs> I would like to not. Oh, and your number and... is wrong for some reason. Your initiative. Oh, no. You no, no. I, I rolled it. Initi- yeah, I wish it was. I'm sorry. No, I appreciate you. Um, I am going to... Seems like a... Does it look like sort of a construct of some kind? It kind of looks like the way it looks, right? Mm-hmm. It looks exactly the way it looks. All it's right. It's like a construct. Hmm. I am going to then use... Again my new thorn whip ring, which I forgot what you named it, and have that lash out and try to wrap around it, crush it, and pull it down to the, well, pull it closer, but Very flavor good. pulled down to the ground. Um, ooh, I have an eight, as natural one as my roll. So. I'm afraid an eight does not hit. Do, do, do. Okay. I will Next up, we have off. Rim. All right. Uh, I'll open the door for Rhea Mantelmorn too. Say, hey, come thank on. you. <laughs> Uh, okay, Those Rim. NPCs, they really just get away from you, don't they? Uh, Rim is going to stay back and uh, shoot his arrows. The first attack is an 11. Okay, an 11 is not good enough. The second is a 24. 24 hits. For 8 piercing. And right. the third attack uh, is a 19. Um, one moment, please. Oh, sure. I'm afraid a 19 does not hit. Oh, crap. All right. And this was piercing damage? Uh, yes, piercing damage. How much damage was it? The, the, the one that did hit is eight points. All right. It <laughs> scatters off of his armor, leaving a scratch, but not much more. Okay. Uh, that is the end of my turn. Very good. Next up, we have something else. Ooh. Oh, oh, close the door. Trickery. Sixty <laughs> percent <laughs> of the time it works. Oh, no. Every time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Two imps who are invisible fly through the secret door. <laughs> Two of are invisible and did not wish to help Thirstwell at all. <laughs> well, he died before they could help him. Oh, it's so true. they're like, it's oh, very true. we're going to just stay invisible. Does that they, mean we're they were impressed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> one attacks Typhon and the other one attacks Rim. And just as a reference, I don't see them on the turn order in case they should be added. They should be added. Oh, there we go. I see what the problem is. There they are. Yes, there they are. Lovely. Back to token menu. Okay. Imp attacking Typhon. It's AC. Uh, 
13. I'm pretty sure that is not a hit. Would he have one of provoked? Um, no, he had enough movement to fly in such a way that he could... Well, actually, no. Um, Persephone, you can take an attack of opportunity as this imp flies past you to attack Rim. Say yes. Fantastic. I will do it. Um... They didn't attack from invisibility. There it is. Nice. Five piercing. But All right. Once again, the damage doesn't seem to do as quite as much as you want. But now he attacks Rim with a crit. Oh. So make a constitution saving throw. Right. Rim. Succeed. Oh, that's a save. Very okay. good. Right. Um, so instead of taking 19 poison damage. Oh Jesus my Christ. God. You take uh, nine. Yeah. Nine. Nine poison nine. damage. And okay. four piercing. Oh, all right. 13, huh? Ooh. And they are vicious. They flesh wound. Right. Ouch. Very well. That brings us to Falkrun's turn. All right, I'm going to move up to... I, I can occupy the same space as Jax, right? Because he is a You can. Yeah, lovely. So I'm going to occupy that space, and I'm going to swing on with Quietus on the imp who just hit Rim. Very good. Swinging with a 16 to hit. That is a hit. And 11 damage. You slay it. It falls in a puddle of goo. You Fan. his quietus made with a bear bodkin. Ooh. Indeed. He's so saucy. Thank uh, you, Tess, for getting the reference. He is. <laughs> so good. Uh, um, and then I'm going to go ahead and like, so as I, like slash him, and then I go ahead and like put my hand on Rim, and I'm going to go ahead and cast Cure Wounds on him. So um, then... You cannot cast Cure Wounds and then make an attack. Oh, oh, you are so right. Absolutely. Re disregard? I'm an idiot. I'm okay. So you could do healing I word. That was the thing. That That's I the one meant. you want to do. I okay. was like, I thought I, I thought I could do that. And what I meant was, I go, you okay? And I, <laughs> you okay? And I cast healing word. Oh, nice. Way heal. better than that one. Wow. wow. That was amazing. Should, I should stick with healing word. I really should. Eleven points of healing. Excellent. Yeah. That is the end of Falkrin's turn. Perception. It sure is. Right. Um, I'm so sorry. I had to step away from the keyboard for a second. Can you just ping the... Yes. Thank you. So there is the, the imp, and there is the walking suit of devilish armor. Okay. Um, I'm gonna... I, can't, I do so little damage against these imps, but I'm just gonna go for it. Uh, Jagger... Huh. Man. That's an awesome hit. Oof. Uh awesome hit for twenty-five for four damage <laughs> with a non-magical weapon. And right. I meant to roll rapier first, but I'll just do that now. Twenty-one to hit seven piercing damage. Very nice. That brings us to Jax. <clears throat> oh I like killing these. And I'll pop up from underneath <laughs> Falcon's skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Love uh, it. It's called a kilt. It's Esker. 27 to hit for 18 <laughs> yes, damage. Yeah. And true to his name, the Imp Slayer strikes again. And down it goes. Next up, we have Silas. You've heard some screaming, screeching imps behind you, uh, but all of a sudden they stop screaming and screeching. Um, I'm not going to close the door. That would okay. <laughs> <laughs> Though a running gag, it could be. Um, so yeah, let me step forward five, ten, and do a quick measurement. Yep, I'm going to stab at that guy from there. Very good. Uh, Elven glaive attack, uh, twenty-four to hit. Yes. And this is magic damage, and that is a hit. Eleven nice. points magic damage. Very nice. And then that was that was five ten. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm just going to step. 
back and free action close the door. Okay, very nice. Um, that brings us to the Helmed Horror's turn. It... The what? What? Opens the door. What? And it comes down with a long sword upon your head. Ooh, upon he your head be it. Do you get an attack of opportunity then? Why would he get an attack of opportunity? Come for his threat range, isn't he? Ten foot? Uh, nope. Doesn't he doesn't have the feet for that. So uh, the first attack is in a miss with the eleven. It's the problem That's of missed. knowing every bloody system. The second attack is a crit. You take fourteen points of slashing damage. Who does? That would be Silas. Silas. That is the end of its turn. Next we have the top of the round. I will uh, come over to it. It is made of metal. It correct? is. So I reach out and say again, sync. Ah, what is it again? What I had? Synchronisticos. And I will uh, reach out and attack with a shocking grasp. Very good. 26 to hit for a beautiful. 26 hits. And the electricity points. courses over its body. But for some reason, the weave doesn't seem to be affecting it with this spell. There was no damage. Hmm. Hmm. Anything else, Typhon? So it's as if it was immune to the damage type, but the spell had no effect. Spell immunity. Then I'm interesting. I'm going to stay where I'm at then. Okay. You, you flatter yourself, Typhon. You're not interesting. Oh. All right. Sometimes oh. he, he hits a little too oh, that hard. Was, doesn't that it? was electricity damage, not fire. <laughs> Stop burning him. Typhon's about to die, yo. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. That's all the right. end of Typhon's turn. Rim. Uh, Rim is going to use his ice breath weapon and direct it towards his helm of flames. Okay. <laughs> that has, I, is that, is that, that's not considered a spell, right? That would be a... It would say on the attack. That's okay. not a spell. It's a spell attack. Okay. Uh... <laughs> well, uh, is it a, but is it a magical effect? That is the other. That is the question. Um, that is a good question. I think I... breath weapons are just, just damage. I don't believe we'll say that they aren't. That it's not a magical effect for the time being. We'll well, check that uh, one. In in line with Typhon's efficacy, uh, it's a DC con save for, and if he fails, it's a a four points of cold damage. <laughs> okay. So he does not have advantage on this because we're saying it's not a spell. But he is pretty robust. He rolled a 20. So he, he takes, takes two, points. two points of damage. So Very does it good. diminish the flames at all? <laughs> Doesn't seem to. It, it, he, he's coated in a rhyme of uh, frost. But does a flex and it all falls over. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, if I were to move out of the way, that would be an attack of opportunity, correct? It would. Uh, I will stay where I am. That brings us to the imp, which is dead. Falkron. Lovely. I'm going to go ahead and move uh, up to the side of this beastie-looking beastie and mm -hmm. swing quietus. Hitting with a 19? 19 is not good enough. Oh, damn nations anything else falcon um yeah yeah he's he's he has he has struck my friends enough that i am um gonna go ahead and summon my other mighty friend steve, steve. so uh i bring steve in with a nine so i imagine he doesn't hit for crap. no he doesn't i'm gonna put but him I... right here in front of typhon is that right yes exactly that's exactly okay. what i want steve to go there is steve um, that is the end of Falkron's turn. Persephone. You are muted, Persephone. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm gonna move right up. Uh, how can I, if, can I be in the same spot as the spiritual weapon? No. Okay. So the, can I get at this person for a melee Not attack? Not with any of your m melee attacks. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to... Apologies I would like to point out that there are doors. Thank you. I guess... Uh... Oh. Um, I'm going to use my um, extra 10 feet of movement to get to that door. If I may. Oh, wait. Mm, no, so you're that. here. You can't get to that door because it, you would be going through an opponent's face. Hmm. All right. Uh, she is going to... Uh, ready in action. As soon as she can get at him, um, she's going to rape your dagger attack. Well, okay. So readying in action... All right, we did say that I would let you move five feet as part of a readied action, but not any further. So maybe I'll move up here, and then mm -hmm. as soon as I could get uh, that, if will I work. get an opportunity. That, yes, to and get that is a that is a homebrew rule, folks. Got it. Now, Sean, does my my spiritual weapon doesn't take up space? Does it? It does. Uh, it does. Okay, but like it can hover yeah, above. It, yeah. Okay. But I can't be in the same place it is. If it hovers well, above it can. No, okay. technically I can put it above. You could technically put it above. Uh, sure. You're on the balcony, yeah. So you want to move it to above the um the helm horror? Yeah. That is perfectly it's, fine. Absolutely. Raining, we'll, rust. we'll say it's above him right there. Um there you go. That that <laughs> helps you out there, Persephone. What would you like to do now? All right, I'm just gonna go for it. There we go. Rapier and dagger. Um and I'm actually gonna use my Flourish as the will. Oh, uh -huh. fancy. I'm going to do. Um, uh, the defensive flourish. Okay. If you want to go ahead and post that so we all see what that does. Pray tell, what does that do? I will. Oh, um, still loining myself. Mm. Uh, so I can expend one of my bardic inspirations to cause the weapon to deal extra damage to the target. Damage equals the number I roll on the bardic inspiration die. Also, add the number rolled to my AC until the next turn. Very oh. nice. Very cool. Right? So and Persephone comes skipping past Typhon, and she does a very adroit strike. Right. Uh, <clears throat> Alright, 13 to hit, and then not sure I know what my bardic inspiration die is. It's a D8, D8. now, I believe. That's right? 14 oh, to hit. Roll you're flanking. it high. Roll it high. Roll high. You're flanking as well, so it's 14. That's right. So you'll mm -hmm. get an extra point on top of that. Roll a D8, please. Five. Oh, oh, God. Oh, one short. Oh, darn it. <laughs> one short. Oh, oh so right, sorry. I still got my dagger. I still okay. got my dagger. Um, which everybody knows I'm way better at. Uh, oh, ten. Wow. Sorry, ten. Uh, the well, AC you, is still there, right? Your the AC, AC still did. Applies, so. Mm -hmm. Why? So, yeah. right, very nice. So worth it. That is the end of Persephone's turn. Jax. Uh, Jax will sneak onto Typhon. Now, are my classes flanking with the spiritual weapon then? You cannot flank with the spiritual weapon. Right. Okay. It has right. to be a person. He will just try thought. to stab it with his needle for 14. I'm afraid that is not good enough. And I will Sil disengage. Disengage. Very nice. Silas. Uh, just out of curiosity, because Jax is small, can small creatures go through other creatures' spaces? Mm hmm. He's tiny. Could he have run right between the legs of the Helmed Horror to no, the other side? No, even if you are small, you cannot move through Still an opponent's face. It has to be tiny. Can you acrobatics okay. for it? <laughs> I, I would allow an acrobatics check. To see whether or not you could do such a thing. That next time. That's why I waited. Uh, no, I'll do, I'll do it now if I could do it now. <laughs> so could I um, do that before his attack? You. So what is your plan? What do you want to do? So could I acrobatics through his legs and then attack him from behind? Well, you already attacked him, I so you missed. Yeah. But you can. I will let you acrobatics through his legs if you want to go behind him. I'll do that next round. Okay. <laughs> Silas. Right, I'm just going to attack him. Oh, <laughs> as being sneaky. Yeah, just, just attack. 
Uh, pull up the glaive, swing, 24 to hit. That's a hit. Nicely done. That is nine magic damage. You're the Very only good. one dealing damage and now. I'm going to add my divine smite. Never mind. Oh. Oh. Mm, you reach for the but light, I and it is not going... there. However, there is something else there. <laughs> what is it? It is calm, but I like calm. intense. I like intense. Mm. Calm, but intense. I like intense. And you intense. almost feel a breath in your ear saying, the power, the power, take the power. I step back away from the helm whore, still within range of my range, right? Or is it no, if you move range? out of its okay. threatened space, you'll give it an attack of opportunity. Then I'll uh, I kind of shake my head and, and done. All right. Um, and now it is its turn. Man, if this thing has an area attack, we are so borked. <laughs> oh, Ray is not on the... Just FYI, Ray is not on the... Uh, no, she's here. She oh, can't she get to him. She cannot get to him. Okay. Well, she's not on the turn order. She's not on the turn order. Yeah. Oh. She's not? Nope. Well, we'll take care of that. Ray Mantamore now on. Now batting. Very good. Um, so. He attacks Steve, right? I'm afraid he Drawn does not to the attack divine Steve. Energy. He attacks I'm going to roll a die to see who he attacks because yeah. it's kind of a big deal. Having been insulted by being called not an. All right, he attacks boy. Persephone. Ah, uh, the AC bonus. Woo woo. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just want to know who was who got two on the six sided die. <laughs> who was who was who who Sean's least favorite? There? Who indeed? <laughs> who indeed? That's a good question. <laughs> All right, it hits with a seven. Does not hit. 25. Darn it, yes. Oh. Take 14 points of slashing damage. No! Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay, guys. I can fix it. I've got a, I've got some power. Just back up to Typhon. <laughs> Don't do it. What? <laughs> Silas, are you all right? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, I thought I had a plan. It might still be a plan. This is a cluster. We need to reorganize. I will take the op attack and step back here. All right. AC 11. We'll miss. And I will... Um, Lucky bastard. Very briefly say to all my companions, um, uh, you can reposition now. And then I will also reach out and again try to... Um, Pull it towards me with a thorn whip. Let's do this. Go. So Sorry. close. Oh my 19 God. is not enough. Which brings uh, us to Rim. All That's right. These um, are the worst. They're so armored. Son of a bee sting. All right. Disengaging is an action. Is that correct? It is indeed. All right. I'm going to disengage and escape out this door. Very good. Uh, and can I, uh, can I hear anything through the door? That would be a perception check, which you can do on your next turn. My next turn. Okay. Yes. All right. I will stay here then, uh, being in line with him. And that is the end of my turn. Very good. Um, but now Rhea can move into this space and she attacks. What up, Mantlemorn? On Hellrider. This creature, what is it? That is three misses. Uh, Next up we have Falkron. Lovely. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and swing with my magical sword. That is 21. a 21! Yes. yes! With 10 points of damage from my magical blade. What type of blade is it? <laughs> I'd say that'd be, the, that'd be the quietest blade. Anyway, uh, and then last but not least, Steve. Come on, Steve. Ah. With a 15. 15 does not hit. Um, you know it's hey, looking, hey. you're seeing jagged marks of it. You're seeing flame kind of coming through parts that don't look like it's supposed to have flame coming through. Just. Boom, bang, bang, bang. 
It's taking lots of hits, but only like every fourth or fifth does damage. Mm. That is brings us to Persephone. All right, uh, that means my armor class is back to normal. Um, I'm going to try that one more time and use another Bardic Inspiration to do a defensive flourish. Uh, going with that. Wow, I keep doing dagger first. I don't know why. Oh, good. It didn't didn't count. Uh, <sighs> it's not right. Rapier. Yeah. One plus, which I think doesn't even matter, but one plus. Six. 27 to hit. So that's very nice. That, that, that you hit. 11 piercing. <laughs> 11 piercing. Done. Standard, standard damage. And then... Doesn't seem uh, to take all of it, of course. Yep. And then the dagger as well. Mm. I'm clicking it. You guys let me know when it shows up. All right. Listen, isn't the... Is that the defensive flourish you said? Mm -hmm. Yeah, defensive flourish. Yeah. I thought it added to the damage. All right, so the first one that came up was a 15. Does it add, damage? Does it add to damage? It adds damage. It's not to hit, so we were all hoping oh. for the wrong thing okay, right. Time. So, <laughs> yeah. So it's actually plus six. So it's it was plus, so it's 21 to hit. Does that hit for my... Yeah, 21 hits. I took and care of it. it. We're good. 70 damage. Yeah. Got it. Wow. Does it, make, does it make her damage magical when she does that? It looks like it's magical, but it's not actually. Oh, wow. Like theater. Like, like it just theater. makes it... Wow. <laughs> Just makes it really it's beautiful. Sassy. It's yeah. poetry in motion. <laughs> it's theater and magic. I love it. Fortunately, I I rolled a fifteen on my dagger. So yes. That's now we have our friend Jax. Oh. What you doing, Jax? Don't mind me coming through, and I want acrobatics for his legs. Very good. Make that acrobatics roll. Oh, 14. 14 is not good enough, I'm afraid. Bounce off of so... it. Oh, okay, I'll stay here then. <laughs> <laughs> and then so I'll you try stay to underneath stab him. Silas. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll stab him. Stabby, stabby. Come on, come on, come on. Do it, Jade. Hey! Oh, 26 oh. to hit. Oh. Very nice. And I'm not, it's magical, but um, I've tried to stick the needle in somewhere. 17 points of damage is exactly enough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How <laughs> would you like to end the Helmed Horror? I will <clears throat> try to like go through its legs, bounce off. The, uh, looks down about bounce off obviously a piece of the arm i come back and i'm like oh i don't know where my needle went and then i'll find it stuck in his leg and i'll just pull it out the kneecap comes off the armor and it crushes down and oh, what's this on the end of my sword <laughs> the uh the hand with the sword falls off and the helm oh, dagger, sorry. falls the ground and the flame Oh, there's going to be many, many songs sung about Jax, the Imp Slayer. Well done, friends. I think with that, we will take our break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And welcome back. So, the party has infiltrated Van Tampur Villa, and they have made their way up the stairs fighting imps and guards they have slain Thirstwell Van Thampur the mastermind behind all of the imps that have been following them and they have made their way onto a balcony and just defeated a helmed horror that was defending a study of some sort in the process they have found a strange oddly beautiful and sinister golden box What would you like to do? Let's search the study. Move into the study, absolutely. So there's an oak writing desk. It's facing the middle of the room. There's a desk, uh, a chair behind it. Black candlesticks atop it. A couple of bookcases. Um, a wrought iron spiral staircase leading up. And there are bookcases along the southern wall. Can I investigate the bookcases mm -hmm. over here? Please. 
Um, while everybody's searching, uh, Silas is actually going to use second wind just right. to guard himself up. I have a 23 on my investigation. Excellent. Well, you can tell with a 23 that these books are very fine. They also look completely untouched. As if somebody spent a lot of money to create a very impressive book collection and never read them. Hmm. Um, just glancing, you can see a couple of things that you know are immaculate first editions um, and are easily worth 25 gold pieces. But you would have to spend a lot of time going through each book and checking various things to know which ones in particular. You can see two just off the bat, but there are definitely more than two. Okay. Maybe take like immaculate first editions, you said, like mm -hmm. super rare collector item type of book. Right. So you can definitely find one of those and there's oh, probably sure. more. All right. What, there's you know, also an interesting book? book called The Last Charge of the Hell Riders. Hmm. I will take that as well. It feels a it. little lighter than it should be. Okay. As in, jing, like, mm -hmm. something. you shake it, and you, <laughs> you hear something rattling around inside. All right, I'll open up, look, and see what is inside. There is an iron key inside. I close it and put it back. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, we'll take this. Won't be useful. <laughs> ding 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 ding. ding. <laughs> well, we have Jack, so we don't need this anyway. No, we'll take the key. Is the book destroyed? The last charge of the Hellriders, then, to obviously. Yes, I mean, key. you can see a little bit. The... Oh. But before the. After seven. Sean, you're too good at this. We, I assume, <laughs> technical misfunction immediately. <laughs> um, cool. All right, got a key. Nice. All right. Jax, you want to check the chest in this corner here? I will certainly check it for traps, etc. It looks like a chest. It is not actually a chest. That's oh. the suit of armor we fought, right? I suppose it was. Although it was in the wrong corner. Okay, that's what I was confused about. Yes, I completely okay. understand your confusion now, yes. Uh, uh, but you said there was a chest in here. Did you I not thought it was. There is, there is not actually a chest in this room. Oh, all right. Just the spiral staircase. What chest? Going up. Can I quickly okay. look through the other bookshelf in the desk, see if there's anything of interest? Make an investigation check. Sure. Oh, this one's not going to be as good. I hate it. 26, it's better. <laughs> <laughs> you find nothing of interest in the desk. Just paperwork. Um, it looks like mundane. This is about various things. Um, politics. Talking to various things. You find nothing incriminating, nothing sinister. Um, can I listen just to the door to the north to see if I can uh, hear anything of course. happening there? Uh Perception of 24. You hear nothing. Uh, I'm going to open this door. Very well. Uh, uh, Falcon. Uh, um, um, where's this bloody chest? Just, just one second, Jack. So I'm going to go ahead and see if Persephone's all right. And I uh, uh, lay my hands on Persephone, cast Cure Wounds. Very good. And she is healed. Or she is healed. She's healed for uh, eleven points of damage. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, who has that uh, potion of healing that was found in Thirstwell's? I do. You do. Very good. I, say, I, I kept. This room about. contains a vanity topped with an oval mirror. There's bottles of perfume, brushes, cosmetics, needles, rolls of thread, that sort of thing. Um, there's a folding wooden partition. Um, and there's a bird of prey painted on it in gold leaf. There's a tall black wardrobe and um, a decorative gold rug laid out in front of three wooden chests. Oh. Uh, check, the, check the rug for traps. <laughs> Make an investigation check. Uh, I should not be doing this. What do you see, Rib? 
a 14 on my investigation. There are chests in this room. Jackson. And the uh, the rug appears to be a normal rug. I'm going to be haunting you for the rest of this. <laughs> yes, exactly. Fucking rugs. That's exactly what they want you to think. But if a rug got a chance, he'd kill you and everybody you love. That's right. Well, All right. Uh, I chests... call Jax. I call Jax into the room to look at the chests. What? What? There's another invisible chest, is there? I'm still his hat is standing there on this room, with <laughs> hand on his hips. Uh, we'll walk into this one. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, so there are three chests and a vanity oh. and a wardrobe. Let me put my glasses on and I'll go and have a look. There are no <laughs> traps on the chests. I will open them up then. Up there, filled with clothes, seasonal hats, that sort of thing. A uh, couple of old bridal gowns. Three, as a matter of fact. I'll start pulling them out. <laughs> Throwing them behind me. What about behind this door? Um, are you listening? I don't. Uh, mm. I'll, I will listen for you. I hear things good. Uh, that's a natural 20. Uh, 26 to perceive deathly silence it is empty is it unlocked do you turn the handle (laughs) (laughs) is it is there a a key is is there a keyhole there is okay i I thought i was the one that i thought i was the the one that was chicken shit of doors what's going on here hmm (laughs) Um, it... you insert one of the keys. Yeah, so there's, there's, to, there's a, does it there's... look to fit the one one of the ones that we it had does not. the one that I found? Okay. I'm gonna say, what's going on? Just checking if it's locked. Oh, well, let me try my keys. None of your keys seem to fit. Uh-huh. One of your keys has already proven to open the chest that was in Thirstwells. <laughs> Indeed. I will. Uh, yeah. Jack, I, Jack for... if you want to step back just a bit, I think I might be better equipped to handle something like this. We shall see. Well, this should be interesting. What do you do? Just in case. Ja- I, I asked them to step back a bit, okay. and then I will turn the. Oh, what, what are you doing? Out. You open the door? Yeah. It is unlocked, and it's not trapped. This is obviously the master bedroom. Right. Um, there is a, <laughs> there is a dumb waiter in the southwest corner. Um, there is a cord that hangs next to it. Looks like a something that would ring a bell. Uh, mm. There's a canopy bed with a gossamer shroud. Um, there's a freestanding wooden privacy screen, bathtub, clawed feet, a fireplace, and a padlocked iron chest. The padlock is cast in the shape of a horned devil's scowling visage. Does my key fit this one? It does. Nope. I'll open it. It opens. Um, Inside, you see some black covered ledgers, mm, some calligrapher's supplies, a poisoner's kit, looks like a pouch of some sort, Hmm. and a pair of pipes like musical pipes oh i'll take the poisoner's kit especially and just kind of start emptying things out looking through um take the pipes oh, right. you take out one thing two things and three things and as you take the third thing out the weight has shifted in the chest and the false bottom comes up on springs I need you to make a constitution saving throw, please. Ooh. Is this magic or is it normal? It is normal. All right. Um, is it... Ooh, very nice. Poison? It is poison. I am immune. <laughs> Interesting. The rest of you see this massive plume of orange vapor come out from the bottom of this chest and it just surrounds Typhon and dissipates into the room 
Rim, you're far enough away, but it makes your eyes burn and <coughs> it clears. And Typhon is still standing there, just going through the things in the <laughs> chest like nothing happened. So, you now have in your possession. I know I've got resistance, but that's ridiculous. Calligrapher supplies, a poisoner's kick. Kit uh, 22 platinum pieces, 85 gold pieces, and 113 silver pieces. Whoa, 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 whoa. Say that at me again. 22 platinum pieces, 85 gold pieces, 113 silver pieces. And a pair of pipes. They are um, standard V shaped. Um, I believe they're called a schwamm. Oh, yeah. Musical pipes? Wait, Schwamm. Musical pipes, yes. Oh. Uh, I call Persephone into the room and uh, point them out to her. As he's pulling them out. Do I recognize anything about them? They're definitely musical pipes. They seem to be quite fine. Look uh... like they're made of some sort of dark wood with a little bit of a metal inlay. Could be silver, could be platinum. They were behind a hefty lock and key and trap. So I would imagine they are valuable, worth mm. securing. I'll definitely take them. Very well. Um, Typhon, you also have this black leather covered led ledgers. <laughs> oh. The entries are written in Infernal. I can read it. It appears to be a list of business dealings. And although it's not quite your area of expertise, after perusing them for a few moments, they don't seem to be above board. Hmm. You see payments and deliveries of goods and strange markings that look like they could be a code or something for something else. And you recognize some names from the guild. I will put those in my own pocket. pocket Very well. Hmm. What do you do? Uh, I just, out of character, I really want to put Jax down the dumb waiter because it seems like a perfect <laughs> goblin infiltration tactic. <laughs> <laughs> well, seeing as how it goes to the kitchen. I know. That poor woman. Yeah. She's been scared enough. Uh, can you reset the trap? It's been burst, I'm afraid. Mm. I imagine there was. What well, is there? Was there some kind of container that popped yeah, open well, or shattered? Well, or, as yeah. you as you move around, there's something underneath it that is shaking like broken glass, and there was a spring that once um, a certain amount of things had been taken out, it came up and <laughs> broke the glass, mm. let, letting out the poison. You have. Spiral staircase up and stairs back down. Let's go up, shall we? Now, we must. Yes. All right. If you could all move yourselves to the north then, oh, as you I climb you up. <laughs> oh, they don't look happy. Ah. The spiral staircase climbs 15 feet to a square room with crisscrossing rafters 10 feet overhead and a peaked roof above that. An empty bookcase dominates the west wall and two filthy padlock cages stand on the floor. Each cage holds a human prisoner and a chamber ah. pot. The prisoners are standing in the middle of their cages, stock still, eyes wide with fear. Do we recognize either of them? No, you do not. Or I, I immediately uh, approach the first cage when I get to the top of the stairs and try the key. No, no, no! And you I see stop. a uh, uh, imp on top of the cage come down and attack. Roll initiative. Thanks. Oh boy! Oh but boy! Let's let's wait to roll initiative until I remove the turns from the last. Oh, sorry. Very good. 
Do you want to take the roll that we did, or do you want me to roll again? Yeah, that roll that you did is fine. Falcon's waiting enough already with the four, so. I'm (laughs) I'm, uh, a little confused. Are we all up there? I assume you all went up there. Okay. All right. This and I went to like quickly. try the key and like dropped it, kicked it with my foot as I tried to grab it. It was just like, I'll get in this fight eventually. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So um, I've got Persephone. I've got the imps. Anybody else? Oh, yeah. Persephone yeah. versus the imps. Uh, if you can add my token, and I'll try to just edit it. Yeah. And just for the record, I am uh, at the bottom of the spiral stairs. All right. Yeah, Which gives us quick. jacks at the top. Do you want to add? And say, looks like mine didn't go in, Sean. But if you want to add me, I'll just put it in. I, I can it just work every time. <laughs> and I can't edit mine for some reason. How did you get? Really? I got a 25. Falkron, what did you get? I got a four. All right. That brings us to Rim, 25. All right. Uh, I will shoot the imp that's closer to me. Very good. Um A 15 oh, hits. Oh, I can't see my results. Uh, 10 of non-magical. Very good. Anything else? Uh, second attack. Uh, hits. 23 for mm-hmm. 7 non-magical. Very good. Is that enough to kill it? Nope. I will take my third attack. No. Uh, and 11 will probably not no, hit. 11 does not hit him, Fred. Oh, okay. That is the end of my turn. Very well. Next up, we have Jax. Uh, 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 uh. Jax, who, who, do, who did you just shoot at this one? The yes. one to the south. Okay, I will jump up the cage and try to give him a stab. Very good. Uh, 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 I roll a critical. Nice. Oh. <laughs> 29. You come bounding up the spiral staircase and you just and you spiral around the cage like a monkey. You come to the top and... Sh- 31 and damage. It falls into five pieces. Oh my god. 31 damage. Rogues, <laughs> man. That was a really bad roll as well. 31. <coughs> you got two sixes on that crit, though. The first one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. That's it for Jax. Typhon. I will um, use my new favorite ring and lash out with a thorn whip, viper whip thing, a that dirty is. 20. Yes. For 10. Magical piercing. And that kills that imp. Before they're able to kill the prisoners. Well done. We're awesome. Bravo 6 going dark. (laughs) (laughs) The two prisoners are standing there just... They're covered with scrapes and cuts and welts. Wearing rags. They're afraid to move. I... I say, yeah, I, I continue my initial action, um, which is trying to try the key to see if it'll open the lock. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, all right. Can all right. If you... how, will they, how will they kill you? Are the cages rigged? Oh, the imps, the imps, they'll kill us. The imps are dead. What? The imps are dead. Uh, I'm Jax the Imp Slayer. <laughs> He's Jax oh, the Imp Slayer. He is, really. Yeah. You're sure they're dead? I'm a goblin. <laughs> I pick up burning one of, upon the floor. I, I pick up one of the heads and show him. Oh, yes, please let us out. Let, let us out. Absolutely. Yes, and please I, let us out. Try the key, Sean. Who mm-hmm. says that you're not imps? Does it work? He's too traumatized. He's he's in shock. He doesn't <laughs> doesn't register what you're saying, Jax. The keys um, do work. That you have the one key that is uh, not the one that you used in Thirst yes. Room that works and it opens these locks. Excellent. I go ahead and open up both the locks. Sean, um, I just noticed what's behind you on your screen. That took me a, a long time, but mm-hmm. it's great. <laughs> um, 
Uh, what, what are you? Step out. Oh. What are your names? My name is Kajal Orumar. This is Shaleen. Hello. Thank you so much. We've been here for days. I see. H have you seen any other prisoners? Uh, ha has anyone else come through here? No. They, they, they tortured us. We saw this very thin man came up once or twice to look at us, but that's all. I see. Uh, were, were there any other doors in the room? Did anyone else uh, come or go from from this room? No. No. Nothing like that. Uh, um, uh, Sean, I checked them over just to make sure that they're like, they're all right. They're not poisoned. Anything this, like they are tortured and traumatized. Right, right. They are do not seem to be poisoned or in any other ways harmed. Yeah. We need to find the rest of the. Uh, we need to find Sissa. We need to find. Damn. So, are there windows up here? There are not. Oh, these things are not windows. The they're uh, they're boarded up. I'm sorry. They are completely, okay. completely. This room is um, completely dark except for a lantern that is in the corner, casting a dim light into the room. Okay. Can we what? look around a bit for um, what's that the secret passage we're talking mm -hmm. about? You may. Jax. Yeah. Let's look for secret doors. That's exactly what I was going to do. Oh, I could try. <laughs> you go right ahead. Yeah. Everybody doing this has advantage since you know that it is here. I got a 25. 21. What's the, uh, what are we rolling here? Insight or? In uh, investigation. Come on, Falkron. Love it. Come on, Falkron. <laughs> 13. <laughs> well, yeah, it's an advantage. So you get it's a an advantage. Roll. Yes, go again. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What I meant was, uh, 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 zero. A six. <laughs> a six. I love it when I actually I, I assumed it was going to be a seven based on that roll earlier that you were Guy. seven, seven, seven. So. No worries. No worries. I found the stairs. It's a spiral. Oh crap. Um. <laughs> true to his word, you find the. Secret passage that Amric was speaking of. It is very cleverly cut into the wall. It's an iron door that has been painted to look like stone, expertly painted. Um, and once you put your hands on the wall, even though the paint is rough, you can sort of feel the difference in texture. And you find the keyhole, but it is locked. I try my two keys. Your two keys do not work. What about my key? You put it in the lock. It opens. Oh. And there is a very narrow switchback staircase going down in darkness. We have um, baggage once again. Yeah, no, I realized that. And I gesture back to the prisoners. They're sort of holding on to each other, holding each other up, looking around confusedly. So the staircase should lead us down to the basement, correct? Right? Is that what Amrick said? That's right. Uh, yes. I've got an idea. We did this at a castle once when we tried to escape. We get loads of those cloth things that humans sleep in. The, the bedding. We all get on it. And then we slide down the stairs. We'll get down really quick. <laughs> that sounds super fun. You know, that does sound like a fun plan, Jax. We couldn't walk for a week, but it was good fun. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a, that's a good plan. Um, anyone else? Anyone else have a plan i look to the group oh it looks like we're settled <laughs> no uh, so i think what we should try to do is make oh you know what would be really great Jax, is if we stealth down the stairs quietly 
Indeed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In fact, you are the stealthiest one of us all, correct? I said yes. You didn't even notice. <laughs> 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 didn't hear you. <laughs> See, that's, you're so good, we didn't even hear you. Wow, now that's, that's some how stealth. good you are, Jax. So, I think <laughs> we'll have you lead the way down. We'll have our fine friends stay behind us. Stay behind us and we will make our way down the stairs yes what about us uh, you my fine friends will stay behind us oh we could kill but him i'm not going down there you I... we can't take you out through the front gate yeah there's absolutely no way you can leave through the way in which you came in there's too many guards you'll be captured immediately and put back in the cage raya it, says it, didn't we meet the same guy in the in the sewers no, oh, no, that guy, was, different guy. <laughs> that guy was way more annoying. Yeah. You're charming. But what does Rhea say? She says, couldn't they just stay here? It's not a bad idea. Won't they be found? Well, if we have them We've in there. killed all cages. the guards? Well, we've killed most, most of the guards. Them. Maybe stay here and and once it's been quiet for at least a day, Try and escape. A day. Oh, we're starving. Does anybody have any food? Of course, of course, of course. Uh, I I hand them two rations. I give I'll them each off a, your character sheet. A, a good mm -hmm. berry. I didn't say that I cast good berry. You didn't say that you cast no, good berry. Saucy mings. I quickly stuff the rest of the ham in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no food. 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 Um. All right, so they they take the ration, rations rations, and they sort of also sit. palanquin. Yes. They they uh they do go down the steps, and they see this room, and they say, "Is it okay if we we stay here? Yes, can we stay here, please?" Of course, of course. The, the blessing of your mother go with you. And what room are they in now? They're in the master. Uh, they go into the master bedroom. Um, which is this, yes? Yes. Uh, so right here, I'll cast um, Minor Illusion. Very uh, good. And it'll be just an, a, a wardrobe, like, that they could hide behind if they need to get. I love it. Very good. So they are there. What do you do? Jack, lead the way? Okay, <laughs> I will stealthily head down the stairs. Are we all going to try to stealthily head down the stairs? I'm going to stay back far enough that that won't matter, because I'm not very stealthy. You're right. We this need you in the city, though, so mm -hmm. maybe. Everybody who wishes to try to move stealthily, please roll a stealth check. Oh, even with my plus six, it's a. 12. 27. Very well. Seven. <laughs> you are playing your new pipes. <laughs> like, we are stealthing, we're stealthing, we're stealthing along. The six from Silas. <laughs> no, I'm like Kronk in Emperor's New Groove. Da 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> he has well, his own theme music. I'm assuming I'm going up ahead, though, yeah? Right. So find yourselves on this map and move your positions accordingly and also adjust your hit points oh, oh i have zero for some reason. everybody has zero oh we all died and i've just that's <laughs> right <laughs> it's, it's like it's like the teleporters Terrible in star trek. trek everybody just dies and a new copy of them comes up whenever they are teleported turn order what that shouldn't be there sorry <laughs> uh, rim rolled really well oh, yeah, you didn't that's that. old Oh. Oh, shouldn't have said that. That's <laughs> from the last time we were in this room and we died. <clears throat> Dormammu. It's a cycle. We're doomed to repeat it until we succeed. Oh, God. It's that all right. episode. So you all come down <laughs> into this room. I immediately listen to see if I can hear things coming from those side doors. Make a perception check, please. Uh, there are four high. stone pillars that brace this 10 foot high vaulted ceiling of this dry cellar, the walls of which are lined by a dozen barrels on wooden braces. 
Half the barrels have brass spigots tapped into them. The room also contains two stacks of wooden crates, one in the middle of the room and another by the south wall. I am looking for invisible things. Make a perception check, please. 25. Well, you are not surprised. Can I pretend? What, what, what is second? it that he's not surprised at? Exactly. One moment, I need to make some yeah. rolls if you will uh, indulge yeah. me. Before you reveal any of them, though, I want to... I wonder That's what type of wine this is. <laughs> I bet it's good stuff. Expensive Bad guys wine. always have the best wine. Falcon, <laughs> what is your passive perception now? 17. 17. You are also not surprised. Who else rolled perception checks? I did. I got a 25. You are not surprised. Why am I not surprised? I was just guarding. All, All right. right. I am currently God. stealthed with a 27. 11. 27. All right, so you came down south stealthed? Yeah. But you've now walked out into the open? Yeah, but I... So if I can see them or notice something there, I want to sort of like... Almost like, I suppose, like a deception, sort of like head up thinking I can't see them, and then I want to stab one. All right. First of all, there do not appear to be any lights in this room. I have turned off dynamic lighting. So dark vision. there needs to be a light source of some sort. Who is handling that? I will cast the light. Silas cast. has a, a little bit of light coming from his sword. I will have. I will cast the light cantrip onto Quietus. Very good. And I've got dark. All right. So now that takes care of the light. Now, I will say what then is revealed. There is a large stack of crates in the middle of the room and popping out of them as both as Silas comes close to them um, are five of the devils that you saw Son of a bitch. Um, on the second floor and also the ones that uh, were with Am the one that was with Amrick. You're going to die. Now, they were able to surprise some of you, but not all of you. So... Let's go ahead and roll initiative. Wait, is music playing? I'm not hearing any. Me either. I don't know why that one is not. Oh, hell yeah. Working, but... A 20 for initiative. Ogren rolls a 20. Very good. Holy crap. This group is fast. It's like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> hey. Last combat I rolled. What are the scores? 20, 20, 23, 23, 24, 15. Silas, what? Oh. Silas is like, oh, yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't see what was happening. I am surprised, and I'm going to die first and go last. Yeah, it's like, what? 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 What's happening? All right. Up first, we have Rim, who is not surprised. All right. Uh,. I am going to uh, take a step back, uh, if I can. It doesn't look like I can. All right, I'm going to do that later. I'm going to shoot. <laughs> I'm going to go for the one in the lower left corner. Very good. Um, he draws back his bow. Attack number one is a 23. That is a hit. Uh, I, I know it's not magical, that unfortunately. <laughs> and, and the level helps with the, with the plus. Um, the second attack, oh, sorry, 23 for uh, 14 points of non-magical damage. All right. You hit second the red one? Uh, the, yes, the red one. All right, second attack? Uh, second attack is a 12. 12 misses. And the third attack with the potential for bonus ouchies is a 24. That is a hit. Uh, that is 11 points of non-magical plus <laughs> another one. Oh, all right. And then I'll move my character when I can finally regain control, and I'll go back to the stairwell. Very good. Jax, you are not surprised. Uh, la. Da, da, da. So I... And you, I will say that you were able to... You stealth. Let's say you stealth in the stairwell, and you moved into here behind the pillar, so you were able to find cover. You are still stealth. Cool. I will sneak around 
for a stabby stabby. Oh, Mr. Blue? Yeah, 28 to hit. Are people not able to move their I can. tokens? I can. Okay. It just took me a second. 28 does hit. 13 damage. Very nice. And I will disengage to here. Very good. Persephone. I, I think I'm surprised, which is good. You are surprised. So you spend your turn being attack. surprised. The devils go. Well, Silas, I am sorry to say you are the obvious target. The two that are closest to you attack with their... One attacks with their bite and attacks the other. They each have a fork. So they stick you with a fork and try to bite. Stick a They're fork in the eating. 20. Civilized. That's one hit. That's six points of slashing damage. 13. No. All right. The other one bites. 14. No. And the fork, 11. No. Very well. The others attack with their tail spines. AC 23. No. You take five <laughs> points of piercing and two points of fire damage. That was seven total. Mm -hmm. The other one hits AC 16. No. And a crit. Oh, God. Of course. So that is Mother. five points of piercing damage and five points of fire damage. Oh, Ten that total. could have been so much worse, though. It's true. Which brings us to Typhon. You are surprised. Mm. Falkron, you are surprised. Size. I am not Falkron, surprised. you're not surprised. That's right. You have a 17 passive. Indeed. Thank you, sir. And uh, I will go ahead. He's not surprised. Surprise. Not surprised. Exactly. It's not, it's not a wall. He saw it very clearly. Yeah, I was just like, <laughs> this isn't stone. These are demons. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, oh, yeah. cast Toll the Dead on that on the red. Oh, very nice. All right, so I have to make a 15 wisdom save. Very well. That is a 14. Oh, well. Which one was that, it? That was the red one. The red one. So let's see here. That will be. There's a pong. And uh, red is missing some of its hit points, correct? It is. Lovely. And so it will take oh, 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 oh <laughs> sorry, 23 <laughs> points of necrotic damage. <laughs> Crap. That is one hell of a cantrip. Um, That's a cantrip? Yeah. Two one D12. hell of a bong hit. Yeah, one off maximum. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Um, the boom comes and this swirl of dark black energy swirls around it and when it dissipates it's gone like it was never there for whom the bell all right and then i'm gonna go ahead oh no i and i can't that's my cantrip can't do anything else then so you could cast nope yep. yeah right you, you, because yep, sorry no no it's no it's spell casting's hard and that's it is, me it is hard <laughs> all right that brings us to silas silas you are surprised Rhea is surprised. Is someone going at Ace DC 22? 22. I think that is might be Spine uh, Devils. 20. <laughs> Weird. All right. So Rhea Mandamore was surprised. So we're back to the top of the round. Rim, make your all attack. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, two attacks. I'm going to go for the one a little bit closer to me at the blue. Um, attack number one is only a nine. And my second shot is a 27 for that 10 is a points. Hit. Very good. Are you keeping up with your arrows, by the way? Uh, I'm Yes, I'm keeping track. I'm, I figured what I would do, and you can tell me if this is okay, is that as I'm going, I'm, I'm trying to recollect them, but I'll just roll for all of them at the end of the combat. Is that okay? That's, that's more, than, more than enough. Okay. Oh, that's great. Thank you. I appreciate that. Jax, unless you wish to move or bonus action, Rim. Uh, no, I'm staying where I am. All right, Jax, your turn. Jax? Sorry. Miles away. Reading chat. Um, I will... Can I sneak up to this one? 
Well, I am hiding behind You're here. not in cover. I'm afraid you don't have a place that you can hide from where right. you are currently. I will move into there. That's me again. <laughs> and I will stab him for a 25. Jeez. For 16 points of magical. Um, it You cut off its claw and it begins to sort of pour out of its own leg and just and it is dead oh he's dead and I will uh, (laughs) I will move take the rest of my movement here and take cover very good is cover a thing in 5th edition yep Um, it depends on what the enemy is you're hiding from I'm hiding Um, from their ranged barb things all right from yeah from all of them from these two you have total cover so can i from stealth? this one you have partial cover you can stealth yes i will stealth then um I you can stealth st- from these two this one has line of sight to you so okay i will stealth with a 25 from the others all right that brings us to persephone who's muted uh i'm going to blade flourish um but i'm gonna do this one uh the slashing flourish so Very i'm gonna nice. move up here um and attack this guy with my rapier uh wow I hit it like five times and it doesn't show up. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a 19 <gasps> does hit. Very nice. And now roll, <laughs> roll that, extra, roll that damage. extra dice damage. All right. This is what Plus we Plus four, so 15. Nice. 15 total. And then I also get that guy for four. That's the... So uh, orange is four? Yeah. Uh, no, uh, orange is 14 or 15. Okay. And then 15. Green, green is four. All right. So, can you grab me a thing? But this is non-magical, right? Correct. Okay, that brings us to their turn. Well, these two turn to attack you, Persephone, and the one that has line of sight on you, Jax, shoots a spine upon you. A spine upon you. You say I've got partial cover, yeah? You do. The one against Jax. It's AC 23. What is your um, normal AC? 17. 17. Now, then then you have partial cover. That's not enough. But I'm going to be using demon damage. You take (laughs) nine (laughs) points of piercing and eight points of fire damage from its spine as it sticks in you. I use uncanny dodge. Very nice. Uncanny dodge. So nine and what, sorry? It was nine and eight. Nine and eight, okay. Definitely a good one to use Uncanny Dodge upon. The other two attack you, uh, so they're hitting you with their forks and their bite, Persephone. Did this do anything to your AC, your flourish you just did? Did not. Okay. Now I wish it had. AC 20 for six slashing. Hits. AC 12. Does not. Does not. AC 13. Does not. AC 9. Does not. Very good. So you... (laughs) as they are sticking and biting, and then one of the forks catches you in the shin. That is the end of their turn. Typhon. This one looks a little more damaged, correct? That is the one that <clears throat> Persephone mostly hit. Yes. Well, I will hit or uh, reach in its direction and call out asphyxis and cause the snake to curl around its neck for a chill touch. And I attack at a 26. That is a hit. For 11 points of necrotic damage. Very good. (laughs) Um, Out of curiosity, too, can can, uh, Persephone's uh, bardic things be used after a hit, or does it have to be declared before the attack? That's a good question. Because if if it's not before the attack, she doesn't have to, like, waste it on hoping an attack hits. It's kind of like smite. I just would be curious to know Mm -hmm. whether or not that's the case. So, do you have to just, declare before? Do I? Yeah. Me? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I, that's how I interpreted it, but it doesn't say uh, the thing I'm reading, at least. 
Very well then. Very well. well. We can move on. I'm looking at that later. Research yeah. topic. Yeah. Um, very well. Typhon Falkron. All right. I'm going to move up and use Rise Quietus. Up. Rise up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use Quietus to Quietus some imps. So this is on Mr. Purple. This is Purple. All right. That is a hit. A- 15 to hit with 13 magical damage. Very nice. It, Lovely. And I then, just checked. Oh, oh, oh you're right. Sorry. And it then, triggers on a hit, Persephone. So, yeah. Thank you. Lovely. Okay. Are cool. you anything else there? Um, uh, yeah, no, I'm going to go ahead and turn my eyes to. Um, I'm going to cast Healing Word on Silas. All right. And he can heal for 14 damage. Or 14, very, yeah, heal 14 damage. So, Very good. That is the end of Falkron's turn. Silas. I feel happy. <laughs> uh, you gotta go for a walk. <laughs> You're not fooling anyone. Now it's a D&D <laughs> game. It has to be... <laughs> Of Monty Python reference. We're good. Uh, We're good, folks. We're going to be all right. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to attack with my glaive on green. Uh, no special bonuses or anything. And that's a 10 to hit, which is... Uh, 10 does not hit, I'm afraid. Uh, and um, then uh, let me just bounce around 5, 10, 15, and stop there. Done. Very good. And that brings us to Rhea Mantelmorn, who finally moves in... She attacks the imp. Oh, those are both dead. She attacks the green imp quite a bit. Aggressively. 22. 22. Oh. And a crit. That takes care of <laughs> this imp. Just. Had a girl, Ray. It only had four hit points. <laughs> Very well. Back to the top of the order, Rin. All right, I'm going to move behind the crates and I'm going to uh, take a straight shot at our purple friend up there. Uh, the first shot is uh, 20. That's a for hit. Eight points. And the second arrow is a 10, which misses. Which misses. That is the end of me. Very good. That brings us to Jax. Okay. Jax uh, will see the one that can't see him and will spring forth behind the boxes, jump up, and take a slash at Orange. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) Dagger in both hands. (laughs) Uh, I miss it after all that shit. Yeah, probably, yeah. 13, there you go. 13 is the Oh, no, no. 24. Oh, I'm stealthed against it. Right. Well, and he's 16. right next to Persephone. Sixteen is the hit. No, sixteen and damage total. Sixteen damage. So <laughs> <laughs> you stick him right in the head and flip over and land behind him perfectly. I look to the head, other one. His head just. I look to the other one. He your next, but I'll be back in a bit, and I disengage. Okay. Very good. That brings us to Persephone. All right. Finish off Orange. Uh, Orange little... is dead. Orange is dead, I'm afraid. Oh, I'm sorry. I... Oh, there there he goes. Uh, then I'm going to move up here. Goodbye, Orange. To Purple. That's a hit. 24 to hit. He only had piercing. one hit point left. How would you like mother to deliver the final blow for yeah. something? Um, I just do a, a supinated, just punto reverso, pink, right into the right into its side. Gotta love it when you say punto reverso. Uh, I, I don't know. know. Getting kind of repetitive oh. right there. I want to see something flashy. It's very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and it is dead. Ah, uh, the immortal Posado, the Punto Reverso, the... Ay! Ay! <laughs> Theater talk. 
<laughs> <laughs> that is the end of combat. And I'll go ahead and clear that. All right, my friends, how are you all feeling? I continue to not feel excellent, uh, but I also keep running into combat, so... Who, he who here is taking damage? I got a hit. Look. Right. Points to a scratch on his, on his shoulder. <laughs> it's quite deep. I might die. You got a, you got a splinter running over the boxes. Yeah, right. <laughs> I still took eight damage. It might get affected. All right. So, uh, Sean... I want, to, I want to take 10 minutes and do a prayer of healing. Very good. So I'm going to pick up to six creatures of my choice uh, within range, and they'll regain 2d8 plus my spell casting ability modifier. Very um, nice. So let's work that mojo. Uh, I'm going to pick, of course, since there are... What, uh, so who's taking damage, my friends? Rhea stands by this door and listens. All right, so I'll give Silas... Persephone, um, Typhon, Jax. Rim, you all right? I'm only down two, so if Rhea's hurt more, you can... Rhea, how are you? Um, I'm fine. I, uh, it's good, then. I haven't good. taken all right. a hit. All right, then I'll, I'll, I'll have the six of us uh, take the effects of it. So, casting that, all of us recover. Holy Jeez. Nice. 22 Whoa. points of life. Good job. Uh, that's and awesome. that goes over our max, right? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Well, I don't know if it does, actually. It's good to have a cleric of life. It doesn't, doesn't actually get when me you, up to my max, but I'll take you, it. When you cast eight, it'll heal us higher. But that's right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So, and so that, 10 so, minutes go by. Yeah. And nothing seems to disturb you while you're here. Meanwhile, I'm looting. That. Meanwhile, looting. Uh, um, um, can I six cast of the. Oh, go ahead. Identify on the. Let's do it on the box. Just in this time. What's in the box? Yeah. Exactly. All right. Um, now you can read out what the box says, what if you please, Typhon. Sure. Um, an infernal puzzle box is a cube shaped container, five to six inches on the side, composed of an airtight. Interlock compares airtight interlocking parts made from materials found in the nine hells. Charming. Most of these boxes are made from iron. I don't, do you want me to read this all? No, out most of these me? boxes are made of infernal iron, though some yeah. are carved from bone or horn. Infernal puzzle boxes are used to safeguard diabolical contracts signed between devils and mortals, even after the term of these contracts are fulfilled. An empty infernal puzzle box weighs three pounds, regardless of the materials used to fashion it. When an object small enough to fit inside an infernal puzzle box is placed in it, the container magically seals shut around the object and no magic can force the box open. The sealed box becomes immune to all damage as well. Every infernal puzzle box is constructed with a unique means of opening it. The trick to solving the puzzle is always mundane, never magical. Once a creature figures out the trick or sequence of steps needed to open a particular infernal puzzle box, that creature can open the box as an action, allowing access to the box's contents. That neat. <clears throat> Gotta love physical props. Oh, look at that! He's got one. What? I is there he's not a, got one. I told you, have already got one. Property <laughs> to the box. <laughs> um, it does radiate magic, but it is a magic of uh, abjuration. abjuration, but it's very faint. It has to do with them. the materials themselves. Okay. I try to open it. It does not open. I gotta try and investigate how to open it. Say so it opens by mundane. I'm looking at little intricate parts of it, like a disabled device or. All right. It's not something you're going to be able to do in one sitting. Okay. You look at it, and it's so complicated. You're gonna have to mess around with it for an hour at okay. least. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um, can I hear anything through the uh, western door? Uh, make a perception check, please. That is a 10. You do not hear anything. Oh, look, Typhon, it's like a dice, and I'll throw it along the floor. <gasps> ah. Well, I suppose infernal iron is 
durable, but I would not suggest doing that again, Jax. Oh, okay. Put it back Did in Did you my hear anything, Grim? I couldn't hear anything, no. Jax was making too much noise. That's true. I go up to the door and try to listen. Call out what you roll. A 12. Mm. You don't hear anything. It's your what? old nemesis doors. <laughs> so that's my... <laughs> um, Shall we progress? Is, is, is it, I, ch- I try the handle. Is it locked? It is not locked. Huh? Shall we? Step back. And it's not yes. trapped. <laughs> okay. It appears to be a wine cellar. Hmm. Suspicious. All right, um, I'll open it up. Go inside. <laughs> no. Yeah, right. Um, the wine cellar's a mimic. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's just it's the wine cellar. It appears to be a wine cellar. There's, there's nothing sinister at first glance. Jax, but, but then you realize <laughs> all the wine is cheap. <laughs> the <laughs> horror. Yeah, it's it's uh, all boxed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jack's do this. Jack's do Charles Shaw. What are you doing? Oh, thank you very much for the bits, I'll look. Um, oh, Jack's do this. Jack's do that. And I'm going to walk into the... Well, now, Jax, you have that very posh monocle. And clearly, you're the one... It's a Peznez. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I'll slip Peznes. that down to my nose. Peznez. 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 <laughs> <laughs> It's a lorgnette. If you tilt his skull back, do things exactly. pop out? Yeah. <laughs> you can always try. Let me, um, let, let me have a look. Give me uh, time. Roll it, please. Investigation. 18. 18. Um, there are several bottles of wine in here that look like they're older than the others, but unless you have skill in that particular area, you have no idea if it's good or not. Uh <laughs> This one's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, he oh. pops the bottle. You begin drinking. It is delicious. One of the best things you've ever tasted. Tastes like rubbish. And I'll throw it. <laughs> probably, not, probably not the best thing that he's tasted. Might be someone else's. Unless it's goblin crap. It's not goblin. It's no. high quality wine. So if Jax is not a fan of such things, then yes, maybe he would throw it. If what I do don't you do? see anything else? You I'll do see. not see anything else. No, nope. okay. Oh, there's there's got to be a, a continue. Like there's got has to be some sort of trap or, or door that we're missing here. It wouldn't just. Oh well, yes, the there's, there's there's one over there. You really what? are very good at this, Falcon. Oh, bloody hell! I walk over and check this door. I'm never gonna live this down. <laughs> Make a perception check. Uh, perception, yeah. Da da da. Twenty four. You do not hear anything. I will check it for traps. Make an investigation check. 19. Does not appear to be trapped. It's perfectly fine, Falcon. You can open it. You open the door, and it extends, and it looks as if it goes into a T-junction. Um, as you walk into this area, you are immediately reminded of the sewers that you have experienced in Baldur's Gate before. But it's apparent to you that the architecture of this level is uh, remarkably clean and in good repair. Hmm. Nine foot high walls are brick and the ceilings are curved, creating a tunnel-like effect. The floors are stone tiled and immaculate. There's a heavy scent of incense hanging in the air and green tinted glass lanterns hanging at regular intervals, pierce the darkness with a ghoulish light. This is the nicest sewer I have ever seen. Left or right, my friends? If we get closer, can we see a little bit further down the... uh... Sure, but there is nothing to see. If we get closer, can we ask Gandalf, too? Yeah, which way smells fouler? (laughs) I have no memory of this place. He's remembered. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, left or right? Left. Live or die? Cake or death? <laughs> uh, Let's go cake, left. please. Cake or left. pie? <laughs> Very well. You go left. 
Who is first and all of that rot? Falkron and Silas will lead the way. All right. So an important point. In the middle of this passageway is the sewer. It is water. And there are, it is possible to walk along either side of it. Um, so far as you're walking, there don't appear to be any bridges to get to either side. However, as you step out, you can look down this way and you see that they do exist. They do exist. You understand? <laughs> yes. Very well. So Silas is leading the way. Falkrun is behind. Who is behind Falkrun? Uh, I'll go behind Falkrun. All right. Rim is behind Falkrun. I will be behind Rim then. Rhea will bring up the rear. And Doing you a come. Dance with Persephone here. Silas, as you come to this corner, they're making no effort to hide themselves. You see, you peek around the corner, and you see walking down the passageway some interesting figures. They appear to be wearing orange robes with black trim. They're wearing golden masks, each one slightly different. Would we recognize them from previous adventures in the sewers? You, the only one that, the, the only thing that brings a memory is the uh, fellow that you found badly burned and mangled in the Shrine of Suffering seemed to wear similar clothing to these people. Um, the two in the front are carrying censers, swinging back and forth with incense, smoke pouring from them. And there's two in the back who seem to be chanting something as they walk. And you have two on the north part of the sewer and two on the south part. And that is what you see. Light them up. Shall we go say hi? Yes. Let's. All right. I'm gonna, are you say are you gonna go uh, across the way for the other one or ah lovely. All right then. Okay. Do you make any attempt to be stealthy? I make an attempt to be stealthy, but it probably won't yeah. go well. Sure. Right. I'll make an attempt. Yeah. Very well. Let's let's get some humor in there. Scott. First roll, <laughs> second roll. Oh, oh yeah. Wow, we were all doing well. Four till Falkron. Four. Okay. Six. Don't um, worry. I managed to roll six both times. All right. They see you. Roll initiative, please. Oops. Falkron again, isn't it? Oh my gosh! I got that one. <laughs> Can't take him anywhere, anywhere. Well, might not be quiet, but I'm fast-ish. <laughs> she heals well. Fast-ish. Fast-ish. Fish. Your fish. Yeah. Oh, I see a kitty. Oh, no, I see a puppy. Where's a puppy? More puppies? Behind the Persephone. Oh. Yeah, the sweet baby husk. More puppies. Is right gay. There. We want puppers. more puppies. Get the more, kid. more puppies. Ryan, she was playing with Dexter. Of course she was. Ago. All She's right. The sweetest. That's never happened ever. It's a big deal. Very well. Let's get some appropriate music going here for this battle. <laughs> right. Up first, we have Typhon. All right, I'll step around here. Let us draw the first blood. Um, and I will spin my hands in concentric sort of triple circles, causing three scorching rays to burst forth from my hands. Um, I will, I guess, just attack the one in front here. Uh, mm -hmm. first What's the range on that? 120 feet. Well, you're fine. Uh, okay, I have a 23 to hit on the first one for 8 that points is a of fire damage. 23 hits. Okay. Survives the first. Um, how much damage did you take? 8. 
Eight. He does survive. Okay. Second is a nine, unfortunately. Nine Unless a nine not, hits. Nine does not hit. Unless a nine hits. All right. Third one is a 23. 23 hits. For five more points of fire damage. <laughs> not he falls into the sewer water okay. his helmet makes a as it falls off his face can I hop back across here is that possible um, because there is combat I'm going to require an athletics check if it was okay. just if it was just could I, uh, I uh, could I use the rest of my movement to do so just like a careful or use it you know I'm not trying to like run mm-hmm. all over the place but just be a bit careful about it or I'm I'm going to need the the standing what's long the, jump roll. Okay. I was say, what's the jumping distance based so on So that's going rate? to be uh, you can leap up to half your strength. Okay. So I can leap I mean, five feet. Realistically that's five oh. foot. That ain't easy. Yeah actually and you don't actually have to roll looking at it. That's right. The, the things are weird now. Oh, fifth that's edition. Fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what you can do. Sorry, I wasn't trying to press the issue. I'm no, that's fine. You can jump five feet. There you All go. Right. I'll go here and I'm done. All right. All right. Falk run. And I will move up five, 10, 15, 20, 25 with all my short dwarfish leggishness. And then I'm going to go ahead. Leggishness. And I'm going to go ahead and cast Toll the Dead on. Uh, I imagine the one that Typhon just hit is already dead. Having He's quite dead. Yes. 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 So I will hit the, the one who is next to him. Uh, and this person isn't missing any damage, correct? Correct. All right, then. So submit that. And that is uh, 10 damage if they fail the wisdom save, which is DC 15. Wisdom save, says you. 13, says I. Ha-ha, 10 damage, says I. <laughs> he falls to the ground dead. Good got some good bells tonight. Yeah. I was just saying. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> that is Falkrin dead. Falkrin what? Dead. God, Falkrin no. <laughs> died. We, we, we called in a ringer for this session. To... Right. Falkrin ah. done. The cultists are dead. Silas, your turn. They certainly paid the toll. I'm going to use my ranged attack, which is mm-hmm. me running forward at that. <laughs> <laughs> Which is me seeing if I can get in range. <laughs> I mean, I've got a dagger, but really. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and... Hmm. I'll stop Ball's... there and taunt them. I'm starting to feel like a Dragon Ball Z episode where we're just running at each other for like five <laughs> episodes. <laughs> Uh, I'm just going to taunt them. I'm going to ready an action. If either of them comes within range, I will glaive them. Glaive. All right. Excellent. All right. That's Silas done. The cold fanatics go. Let me just check something if I may. (laughs) Right. Very well. Um, Silas, please make a wisdom saving throw as one of them raises a fist and makes a grasping motion. I can do that, and the roll shall be a critical fail. Your limbs seize up. (laughs) And you cannot seem to move. Okay, condition. You are paralyzed. All right, please do proceed. The other cultists, cultist casts spiritual weapon. Oh <laughs> God! Which appears directly. Set the pins up and knock them down behind you. No, Steve. <laughs> That's not e- Steve for once. Steve. It's different. It's different. It's. That's Shrimpanzee. It's Steve backwards. It's Steve. And it attacks. Steve. It has advantage, and all hits are auto crits. What? So, Sean? Yes. <laughs> Never mind. You, you can. Oh, no, no, no. Please say whatever you're going to say. Go ahead. No, 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 no. He's, no, no I was, I was, I was uh, ponderous on the range of spiritual weapon, but on the initial attack, you can make it appear. Right. Yep. Nope. 
Oh, oh, no, oh. all hits are auto crits for the spiritual one. Just because he's paralyzed. Because he's yeah. paralyzed. If it hits, I'm sure that'll be a 25 and a 24 or something else. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right, no, it's no, a 22 no. to hit. Oh, that so misses. it does eight points of force damage on the first roll and four on the second. So that is a total of 12 force damage. Next up, we have... I've lost... Where did it I go? don't know where the turn order went. Where did it go? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have Jax. Dear Lord. Okay, Jax will move to there. Pull out his longbow, peer around, and take a shot. You have a longbow? Uh, short bow, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're shooting around the corner, I assume? Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. Perfect For a goblin. Fine. That's a... Um... It looks long on him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crit. Oh, 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 oh. 28 to hit. Which one do you hit? Um, I'm, I'm going to say the top one. I don't know which one has paralyzed Silas. So. All right, the top one. Um, well, that hits, obviously. And what's the total damage? Uh, it's 10. Because I... Unless, Just 10? Do they know where I am? Oh, yeah, they saw you do that. Yep. I was expecting more. I mean, uh, what, didn't we have a 31 last time? Got to, yeah, yeah but I was slumming. I don't get no stealth, do I? So I've got to be no. on 30 What is, foot what is that with stealth. the point shaming over here? My <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was Whoa. a 31 hit in one attack. But if it's a concentration <laughs> spell and he's the one that cast I don't know who cast it. So Right. So 10 points needs... of damage. You get the... Don't you get sneak attack from a crit, though? No. I don't know. That's news oh, to me. Okay. No, you don't. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Right. So next up we have Rim. All right. I am going to attack the one that has cast the spiritual weapon uh, on the bottom. Sorry. Bonus uh -huh. action hide. Uh, the oh, first Jesus. one is a crit. <laughs> <laughs> um... So that is... all dice rolls for this attack are doubled. So that's 14. Is there anything else added no, on no, this? No, no, no. Just that... nobody else can see this, but Jax rolled a crit attack, and then Rim rolled a crit attack, and then Jax rolled a crit stealth. It's a regular <laughs> crit storm. Yeah. So, I mean, this doesn't. This is not as impressive as if one character rolled three crits in a roll. Oh, I feel like it's more impressive. It's impressive. spread pretty, out. Pretty, over. pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Um, Doesn't suck. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> All right. So you attack the one on the bottom. That's correct. That's my first. Uh, so three that's shots. the first hit. Now, don't you have to get to add something to damage on your first one, or you just get another attack? The, the bonus damage is on the, uh, the final attack, act, which is the final. Yeah. Got it. All right. So, so my, fourteen. Good. Uh, good. Second attack is a thirteen. That is not enough. And then the third attack with the potential for bonus ouchies on mm -hmm. an 11. Poop! I'm afraid the 11 does not hit. All right, that is the uh, end of my turn. I'm actually going to sneak behind Jax uh, around that corner and kind of step out of the way with him so other people have room to go. All right. Very good. Revealing themselves oh. are two imps, one attacking Silas and the other one attacking Falkron. The one attacking Silas hitting AC 20, auto crit. Um, that hits, but uh, where's the music? I want some death music. If I'm going down, man, come on. <laughs> we won't let Sad it death music? You got what's, it. What's what's my damage? All right. Um, 11 piercing. Make a con save. Con save. 11 piercing. Oh. Eight. I'm so sorry. Oh. 20 ah. points of poison damage. What? Oh, my God. It's okay. I'm still, still standing. Up? Oh my god! I'm still standing. standing. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I have one hit point. And the the other imp <laughs> attacks Falkron. Oh, thank goodness. Thank God for that. <laughs> Blessed Ilmater. Uh, Blessed Vandria. Man, that poison is no joke. Fight about it? 3d6. Uh, hitting AC 11. It does not hit. Right. That is the imp's done. Persephone. All Just right. so you know, Sean, uh, Ray is also not on the turn order. Oh, damn it. Ray. What? Guys? What's happening? What, where's everyone going? Guys? Miss, miss not appearing. What are you doing? Some Hellrider. Oh, that hurts me. <laughs> oh. In the hurtful places. Just kidding. All right, she's actually before Persephone will have her go after. Oh, okay. Why are the imps? The imps don't go at five. That's weird. How did that happen? Um, Persephone, it's your turn. All right. Um, I'm just not terribly much I can do, but uh, I'm going to uh, cast... Which one do I have? One moment. Healing word on Silas. Take your five point or no seven points. I hit it twice. The first one is seven. Better than nothing. Better than nothing indeed. Now it'll be Rhea's turn. We'll say that she was up with you all. So she's not quite so far back. Oh, I could have cast that at a higher level, one, couldn't two, I? Oh, well. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She can't get there. So she stops there. Right, that is the end of Rhea's turn. So now we'll be back to the top of the order with Typhon. Can I see which one casts the spell um, on Silas? Make an Arcana check. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 27. Oh, with a crit. Definitely. It was the top one who All guessed. Right. I will continue the artillery barrage then with the... Oh, that was the one I hit as well. Scorching he made rain. his constitution save. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Uh, I have a 23 to hit. That is a hit. For five points, I have... Come on, do it again. I have a so, crit. Oh! All right, he, he needs to make a con save for each one, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I've got 20 points of damage so far. Is he still hanging um, out? Uh, but just a second. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, go ahead. Wait. Do it all at once! <laughs> 20 points of damage. Okay, he's still up. All right. So what, what was, so the first one was, all right, Five. so if he saves the first one, the second one is 15. He fails. You are no longer held, Silas. Next, uh, then you have one more? One more. 13. I think this is... 13 does miss. Just barely. Cool. That is the end of Typhon. Falkron. All right, I'm going to go ahead and toll the dead on uh, our cultist at the top. Okay. There. So go ahead and make that roll. He has taken damage, so he needs to DC 15. Resistance. Yes, indeed. This is the one on the top. The one on the top. He rolled a 15. Ah, oh, you saucy Save monkey. Or suck. So sorry. Uh, no, no, that's all right. I can trip myself up there. Um, all right. And then uh, that is going to... Oh, uh, Sean, can I mm. can I hand like my... Like a health potion is a bonus action, but in order to give it to someone, that's going to take an action, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, no, it's going to take part of your movement to give, to give an item. All right. So then I'm going to take the health potion on my packet and Toss it to Silas, who is no longer paralyzed. Paralyzed. You're only five feet away, so that's fine. Yeah. yeah. And like, you know, drink it. Yeah. So that is Falkron done. Silas, it is your turn. You can drink a health potion as a bonus action. I'm going to drink a health potion as a bonus action. Very good. 2D, <laughs> 2D4 plus 4, please. I can do that. Uh, 2D4 plus 4. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to roll the 2. Uh, 7 total. Seven total. Hey, I'll take it. 2d4 and... plus four, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, oh, oh, you got four, a two yeah. to one. Oh, never mind. Right. Yeah. 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 
So I guess I'm going to attack the imp in front of me. Very good. And I'm going to attack with my glaive. Glaive. It is an 11. An 11 does not hit. Nice knowing you. Um, You okay? You okay? Yeah, I guess I'm done. Yeah, that's it. All right. The bottom fanatic reaches across the um, gap and grabs the hand of the other fanatic and casts Cure Wounds. That's he nice. is huge. That's so sweet on They're me. They're friends. On me. And Cure then on me. the one on the top, what does he do? He casts Shield of Faith upon himself. He and you see a uh, flame rise up and forms like a, a shimmering shield that's partly obscuring people's view of him. That is them done. Jax. Jax sees that happening and pops out, obviously after a 31 stealth roll, and shoots him. Very good. At 26. That is a hit. 19 damage. And the, which one did you attack? The top one. The top one. He clutches at his throat as an arrow protrudes from it and he slumps forward and no. is dead. Bonus action hide again. Very good. That brings us to Rim. All right. 30. He will take two shots at the uh, good remaining cultist. Uh, the first one is a 13. Mm-hmm. And the second one is a nine. Miss, miss. Miss, miss. The imps go. One imp attacks Silas, who's no longer held. Hitting AC 17. Hits. Dang it. Five what? points of piercing. Make a con save, please. Let me, oh, take, let me take the five and a con save oh. coming at you. <sighs> Oh, 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 23. Two points of poison damage. <laughs> oh, um, and uh, the other imp hit a AC 12, Falkron. Uh, you knew. That'll you fun. indeed. You. Rhea Mantelmorn. Um, um, Rhea Mantelmorn leaps down into the water and moves. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and attempts to strike at the imp on the ledge above her. Hmm. That's that um, magical weapon gone, or was that the Which other one? Which one? Um, that one is not gone. Oh, yeah, no, because that was the other guy, yeah. Okay, you didn't attack with it either. I didn't. We'll take care of that. That's three hits. 11 damage, 9 damage, and 11 damage, which <gasps> is enough to take away that, even with half damage, is enough to take away the imp. She I was just trying to motivate her when I made that slight she comment. She is late to the party, but she always <laughs> brings All right. the yeah. The spiritual weapon attacks you, Silas. AC 2. No, that can't be right. It's totally right. That's absolutely I hit the wrong right. thing. I'm sorry. No, it's right. I can't be right. Error, error in favor of the players surviving. Come on. Yeah. How about AC9? That's a miss. It is a miss. Persephone. All right. Uh, 10, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. All right. Uh, if I dash, that's 40, uh, 55, 50, 55, 60. I'm gonna use my whole movement. I get an extra ten in combat with uh, blade flourish. All right. Uh, so I'm. That's my whole my whole thing, though. Just getting there. Just getting there. All right. We'll, that we'll, brings us back to the top. Typhon. We'll take an uh -huh. attack of opportunity. Will she? Oh, she will indeed. As she goes past the imp. Thank you for keeping me honest. Yes. Mm. Thank you. No. <laughs> Hitting AC seventeen. Hits. 
Roll a con save. <laughs> I don't like screwing the players, but then I... <laughs> no! Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, uh, six points of piercing damage and no. 14 points of poison oh damage. Oh my god. Now I feel guilty. That's all right. It's not your fault. It's okay. That's not a problem. What do I heal you people for? <laughs> all right, Persephone, you're done. Typhon. I'm, I'm sorry. Say the points again. It was it's 20 total. 20. Thank you. Don't really know who's more dangerous, but I will. <clears throat> uh, Asphyxis at the cultist and 25 to hit. That oh. is a hit. For 13 necrotic damage. He falls dead right at your feet, Persephone. Oh, well. Wait. 13? No, he's still up. I'm so sorry. He's still up. He's just prone. That's all. Should've that is Typhon end. done. Fulcrum? Right. I'm going to go ahead and swing Quietus at the imp and hit with a 22. That for hits, yes, indeed. Eight magical slashing. That should finish off the imp. Fingers crossed. Hey. Yes, it does. Is the magical hey. weapon a concentration? No. Uh, spiritual weapon is no. not concentration. He's still up. You did eight points of damage? Eight points of damage. Not quite enough. He's still up. Other trucker. All right. Falkron, you moving? Uh, I I am not. I'm going to stay right here and try to keep this imp engaged. All right. The um, cultists are dead. Silas, your turn. Well, I'm going to attack the imp. Very oh, well. That's really There's all one... I can do. Those are one... cult fanatics. No. Ah. I'm sorry. sorry, it's a big difference. Yeah. Big difference. They're <laughs> like, like a, the like cultists a... are just in There's it for, like the, a... for the chicks. The fanatics are like hardcore party members. They know uh, all the lyrics to all the cult songs. That's yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> it's Understood. like a tiered system. It's, it's They're real. Fire woman. Okay, so I'm going to attack this guy, right? Yeah. Attack. And even though he's surrounded, there's no one directly opposing, so he's not playing. So... Nine. I'm afraid a nine is not enough. I'm just going to stand there and stare at him. Yeah, done. <laughs> right. Um, you can't see him because his buddy went to the GM layer, but I can fix that. I can fix that. One moment. This will make things more easy. Right. So he's dead. His buddy attacks with the spiritual weapon. Silas again. AC 14. Miss. All right. The And he casts... He casts Inflict Wounds on Persephone. He reaches out to grab you... How dare you invade our temple? Oh. Hitting AC 11. Does not hit. So, wow. That been bad. Yeah, that would have been real bad. That was a lot of damage. <laughs> Just out of okay. curiosity, Sean, what would it have been? Well, 22. Yeah, oh, just... I'd, I'd be out. Oh, I'd be nine. down. Rolling 22. death saves. That is it for him, Jax. Thought was my go. Uh, well, there's three around the imp, so I'm going to shoot, pop out and shoot at the cultist again. Okay. Just because I know he can't see me. <laughs> 21 to hit. 21 is a hit, and that damage will finish damage. him off. Yay. And okay. that is the end of Jax. Guess, guess what hiding? I'm going to do now? All right, yeah. <gasps> got a bonus action. Oh. You're going to loot. Oh. You go. Oh, right. <laughs> Rim, it is your turn. All right, the only thing that's left is the imp, right? Because the spiritual weapon disappears with the that's dead correct. cultists. All right, then I will take a couple shots at the imp non-magical damage but 15 that is a hit for 13 points of non-magic and that is enough to finish off the imp all right but the damage has been done my no goodness freaking kidding what do you do oh take you a rest. nap <laughs> <laughs> oh, doesn't it smell lovely in here <laughs> all right that's it, it does oh yeah the uh, incense Mm -hmm. All right, how... 
Um, somebody helps uh, Rhea out of the water. She's looking at it. Oh, smells awful. Oh, what are you talking about? Persephone, Silas, how are you? Back to where I've been. <laughs> um, I do have a potion of greater healing if you're running low on your heals. Uh, I... Unfortunately, I... I don't know how much more I can offer up. Uh, my, uh, didn't we just are... find a healing potion? I, it's been I used. Gave it to Silas. Oh. Um, speaking of which, Silas, how are you? Still alive. Well, we know that. All right. So, out of out of game, friends. Uh, give, give me numbers here. Who's who's got the Who's the ouchier of the two of you? 18 for me. Maximum. Scott. <laughs> yeah, okay, Scott. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, channel my divinity, and I'll uh, I'll lay hands on you, and I can restore up to 25 HP, um, which uh, or up to half of your max HP. So, so that's what, that'll get you up to at least 24. What's the actual points that I get? Twenty. Uh, someone math for me. Sixteen. No. Six. No. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Give me the I numbers. En- okay. I do enough math in this game. <laughs> yeah. Sean has right of refusal. That's fair. I, That's fair. I know. I know you guys haven't been watching the videos, but every every time this happens with the numbers, I put the math lady meme on the screen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right. So Scott, you get sixteen uh, HP. I will take it. Very appreciate that. Uh, Very appreciate that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> my I brain. Am appreciate. <laughs> would my we brain out of blood. game? Would we? Uh, would we benefit from a short rest, or do you think we should? Uh, we they we they, should they know we're forward. here. They're attacking us. A, if we try to short rest, they're going to come and kill us. It's a bit of a dangerous well, place. Well, what if we had a good place to hide? Yeah, man, I would love to get some of that bardic inspiration back. Um. Yeah. I, I have a new spell at level five called Rope Trick that will rope get, trick. Uh, it opens up a uh, a portal. It's an hour long spell, so it's perfect in time for a short rest, and it gives us an opportunity to uh, kind of hide and recover for an hour. I That's a good it. one. But in in that time, wouldn't they just leave? They know uh, we're here. They're attacking us. They're ambushing us. There's been so that was that was a patrol. Doorway. That was a patrol you ran into. We yeah. could pull them up with us, and they'll just be like, "Where'd they go?" We only ha- I can only carry eight medium-sized creatures in my uh, in my. Portal. Can we shove the bodies into the bag of holding, or, just or in into the, the water? In the you water, you can shove yeah. them into the water. Well, uh, I do that. All right. Well, I into the water first. they go. Kind of they are first. they're not wearing anything of value except for their gold masks which look like they'd be worth a pretty penny Pure gold. they're also wearing the symbol of zario which is the symbol of asmodeus reversed uh, black well, on red as opposed to red on black so add in two gold masks to the loot mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Put whoever's in charge of loot put it in that bag of holding who's in charge of loot who's got the bag of holding uh, um, Rim had uh, one of ours, I believe, right? For some reason, uh, it's on my character sheet now. Yeah, I thought oh, Jax yeah, had it. Never that's... mind. Oh, that's right, because Jax takes everything. That's... No, yeah. I don't know how it ended up. Sean put it on my character sheet. What is this? The bag of holding? Yeah, the bag of holding. Yeah. I put it on your character sheet because you went like rummaging around for stuff in the um, in the uh, Riverstone Manor. Oh, okay. Oh, I found one. <sighs> no, we all found you all found one. It was mm-hmm. in the um, it, we found it in Ramazith's tower. It was what yeah, the yeah, treasure. I thought, yeah, the... I thought Rim had that. You can you can hold on to it. It's fine if it's oh, on your okay. character sheet. We'll say I gave it to you. I, I, I'm sorry. I just thought he had it. No, no, no. That's okay. No, um, don't so me rope trip. Yeah. Uh, here, I'll let me press the button. Um, <laughs> yep. It will. Uh, it will take us out of. Uh, it, it's an extra dimensional space that will uh, keep us there for one hour. Very nice. So Rim pulls out a rope and throws it in the air and it just stops there. And there's a very, a barely perceptible swirling sort of mirage-like shimmer that happens at the top. 
and you one by one climb up the rope and into a very nondescript sort of neutral space. You look around and it's misty and dark, but there's still plenty of room, some uh, plenty of light somehow to see each other. <laughs> and you sit around on nothing and rest. Uh, can I sing my song of rest? You can sing your song of rest, by all means. You've scooped all of the guts of the imps into the water, and the, you've taken the bodies and put them in the water as well. Where is In that? fact, to make things extra safe, I will say that you did take the time to check and see what was inside this door that you're all next to. And it appears to be cold storage. It's just hooks with meat. Next to the sewer. Mm -hmm. Well, naturally, I'll take some meat out with me then. Well, let's go in there and rest. Let's let's do the rope trick in there and close the door. Right. For some reason, for the life of me, I can't find my... Uh, so, features and traits, I think? Mm-hmm. You. So we're doing a short rest. Is this going to be uninterrupted? Well, there's nothing. There, there may or may not be consequences to the short rest. However, there's nothing that can touch you while you're there. So it is uninterrupted. Creatures regain an extra 1d6 hit points. And I'm sorry, remind me if I roll that or if everybody rolls it themselves. I think you roll it. You roll it. Yeah. Thank you. Enjoy that extra four points. Nice. Hey. Um, spend your hit dice as you wish. I would like to see it. But uh, thank you all for joining us. Tune in next week when we see what else the underseller of Van Tampur Manor has to offer. Mm. See you yeah. next time. Bye, everyone.